Aziz, life! Are we muted? Fantastic. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's continue with space exploration. Wherein it is time for Energy Bimu. Um, which is to say, we've set up... Uh, what is it called? Superconductive Cable. Which is the one thing we're missing for making Energy Bimu. Um, and it's already set to be delivered. It's already set to be built. Um, what else is there? Razor K, Twisty P, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Space beams, indeed. And I've drunk, I've drunk my water wrong. Is my voice working again yet? It's a start. What are we missing here? Oh, that makes sense. Um, I can't... Nope, gonna be a minute. Oh, good job, me. Try to save one second drinking a drink. Lose voice for five minutes. Good, good risk reward there. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna go take the scaffolding out of the construction ship. And to do that, I think it's probably easiest if I get the bots to do it. it. Might be a little slower than is strictly necessary, though. Why don't I get the construction bots to do it? And that'll keep the Logi bots free as well. Oh, there we go. And then I'm just gonna copy this over here. For the moment, the construction bots are finished. Why are they hovering like that? Why are they hovering like that? Are we good now? I think we're good now. Is there nowhere to put the scaffolding? Uh, yeah, I believe that was it. No? What? What are they doing? Oh, it's these bots. Okay. Alright. Won't you need all that when making outposts? Yeah, I'm just gonna swap it out just once. Or maybe I'll even just change the outposts to use um, the plating, because it's just easier now. Myclat, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Philip B, welcome as well. Are we good? Not even. Oh, the construction train as well. 
Uh, I wish I could easily turn on and off their robopods. Actually, I wish I could automatically turn them off when they're parked at these stations. I guess one way to turn them off would be to not put construction bots in. Um, I don't... I can't really think of a good way to have them load up construction bots only when they leave. Without too much fiddling around. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Okay, so while that is happening, uh, let's jump into the editor and figure out a nice, neat layout for our solar outpost. And it's going to look... Well, for starters, it's going to be using a lot of plating. Uh, next, we need the usual... I suppose at this point I should be designing the um, Star Probe um, outpost as well. Evil plot. Lucky number 13 to run 45, fantastic. Lucky number 13, fantastic. Evil plot, thank you so much for the 13 months. And welcome, welcome. Good to see you again, as always. Hope you're doing well. Circuits, I guess. Um, well. At the very least, I'd have to have like a manual constant combinator to say, okay, put the bots back in now, and then it'd be a pain when I actually want to deploy the train. Um, I'm realizing I want to put some space background over here. Um, because I kind of want to... Well, to be honest, I was going to say I want to leave a space for a ship that does the delivery and stuff of space probes. But maybe I should just design it now. Because I don't think we're going to be using our standardized uh, core fragment haulers to do the more specialized job of star probes, right? I could probably use the dispatch system to launch ships to carry star probes all over the place, but frankly, I don't see a world where we need more than one or two ships for each type. Especially when we're bouncing off of Foenestra. Hmm. Arcospheres, though... Arcospheres are eventually going to be a pain where we want to put one of these in each outpost and be able to expand it really easily. Let's see. Probe data. There's interstellar void, star probe data, and asteroid belt probe data. If I recall correctly, the interstellar void probe data, um, how do I make it? Right click? I'm doing left click and I'm doing right click, what the hell is happening? What? Something is not right here. Oh, I guess there technically is no recipe that makes the interstellar void probe data? Um, but we just, I'm pretty sure for all three of these, right, the probe data is, uh, it's going to be the same for star probe data. Yeah, left click does nothing. Okay. Um, so we go to the sun, we go to the asteroid belt, and we go to a asteroid field.
to launch our interstellar probes. And unlike with, uh, what is it called? Arcosphere thingamajigs, collectors. There's no, like, diminishing returns or anything. So we can just set up one base for each of these. Left click gives creation recipes, right click gives usage. Yeah, but there are no creation recipes, technically, for those ones. That's why it doesn't do anything in this instance. Um, yeah. I kind of want to jump into the cheat save so I can mess around with this, actually. Because I don't think I'll be able to... I might be able to. What do we need? A probe launcher. I, I get the feeling we're not going to be able to put down a probe rocket silo. Oh, okay. Never mind. I wonder what kind of surface this counts as. Can I just... Space probe rockets. Um, some cheat power. And super speed modules. I guess since we're not interacting between surfaces, this is okay. It's better to launch five rockets in five locations than 25 rockets in one. Are we talking about arcospheres though? I'm pretty sure for the data cards it doesn't matter, right? So I'm just trying to think about... These only stack to one, right? And then each one gives us... Is it a thousand? Rocket inventory. Oh, we have to put a... Is it going to let us put a satellite in here? Navigation satellite. Um... I don't think we do put a satellite in. Oh, yeah, we do. Star probe. Okay, so some kind of probe. I don't think it's going to let us put a probe in here. Uh, it did. Alright. Away we go. Search for probe, indeed. Okay, so each of these is going to take... Uh, one space probe and one star probe, right? Space probe rocket and one star probe. And we manufacture those back at main base. Um, and then, is it not... It's just not producing any output here. Because it's not in the right location. Does anyone remember? I think it gives us a thousand... Um, oh yeah, here it goes. 1,000 data cards, which stacks to 50, I think. Yeah. So... 20? Uh, two stacks turns into 20 stacks for the return trip. I kind of want to do a spaceship that's going to go there... Drop stuff off and come back. You know, this is starting to sound like I absolutely should use my existing um, LTN spaceship system. That's why I couldn't figure out how this satellite worked. I launched it from Nalvis and got nada. Indeed. So... I'm going to have to half steal from, half design from scratch. We're obviously not going to be, need any space train power packs. 
Um, anchor clamp is going to be one. We'll probably just add... Uh, we'll go like 18, 19, 20 for the different probes. Is there a universe where we're going to use Arcosphere collectors with this system? We could. We'd be spending an. Uh, we'd be sending an awful lot more spaceship than we need to. For these, though, what do different numbers do logic-wise? Um, okay, so basically, when the spaceship comes back. With regular core fragments, we need it to land at the spaceship clamp that has ID 2. Um, for barrel, it's 14, and so on. Um, and this combinator right here isn't actually connected to anything. I just left it there as a reminder for myself. Um, so the default is 1, and we're offsetting it by what number um, core fragment we're up to, basically. Maholic and Trotsky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay. So... I'm pretty sure I'm just going to design a separate smaller ship for this. Because we're going to be wasting so much... Um, cargo space if we borrow a regular hauler for this and we may as well make it faster and stuff how many locations do you need to launch probe data from though uh just one for each type of probe perhaps a simple there and back ship would be easier yeah quite likely um th with the dispatch system uh the ships need to be like generic right I haven't programmed in a system to say send this ship to this place and that ship to that place except for the ships have different uh storage capacity and we compare the storage capacity against the storage capacity of ships that are on their way to a location versus how many core fragments are there to pick up um so yeah, I'm pretty sure I will just design some smaller ship for that. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can't put the probe on the spaceship itself. Otherwise, that would probably be a bit too easy. I could just put this off. Like, we can put this anywhere, so I'll kind of disregard it for the moment. Perhaps. Blue Lightning, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Also, these should be go and wait for the data. Since they need to take and bring back. Yeah, that's how I like to do these ones. Uh, so really, I'm just going to figure out a nice, neat layout for a bunch of solar panels. And some energy beams and stuff. So we're obviously going to need hmm. Should I do a separate class of spaceships to do To do resupply runs? To bring ammo and stuff to these things? Is this just Crestorio? Uh, no, it's space exploration plus Crestorio. Simeus, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Like, right now we just want to get energy beaming happening. Uh, where is that? I didn't even blueprint it, did I? 
this square of stuff. Oh, that doesn't reach unless. Oh, I think I see the problem. No? That's kind of weird. I want it to be symmetrical, whatever, close enough. Alright, so a bunch of solar will expand indefinitely. Um, I want 12... Media defense installations. What? Uh, How big are these? Uh, nine by nine. Okay. We'll just pretend. This is a media defense installation. Um, let's see. We want 12 somewhere. Probably a couple of rows of six. Probably in the middle. Where is the middle? Something like that. How about one more tile over this way? And then we could have a 2x2 two two requester. Actually, I could put those closer together. Like this. And then we just have inserters, like so. That'll be our media defenses, one off, indeed. Is there not one row panels missing on the top? Uh, kinda, yeah. Whoops. 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 Is that actually a square now? 17 by 17, yes. Okay. And then energy beam. I uh, don't really need receivers here. I think I'll just set the... Uh, I'll, I'll, Oh my god. Uh, I can't design any of this stuff properly without jumping into the other save. Um... There's not that much to it. Let's just start building it. Alright, how much floor do we have here? Not as much as I would like. Um, how much superconductive cable do we have? Almost a train load. Um, I don't think we need nearly as much as that just yet. Am I out of... No, I'm not out of jetpack fuel. Um, we've got an awful lot of stuff in here for outposts that we're not using. Whatever. Um, Spellevator cables definitely fall into that category as well for the moment. Not for the millionth time, I wish I could uh, have buffer chests take from other buffer chests under certain circumstances. Wait, what am I doing? 
I want to just put these solar panels in there. And... I don't know, the rest of this. Okay. I'm gonna go steal some super conductive since I don't want to wait for the train. Not steel mage. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I'm pretty sure that's a decent chunk out of the energy beaming stuff that I want to build just for the moment. Uh, we'll need to request superconductive cable in here. And allow up to 250. Where's the combinators? Over here. Fantastic. Let me just fix this real quick. Much better. Okay. Uh, are we already out of superconductive cable? What the hell? That was fast. Uh, we did get five injectors, two beam emitters, and nine energy beam receivers. Not a bad haul, actually. Beam me up, Scotty. And a few more of these. A few more of these. Fifty of those is actually a ton. And a few more of these. Okay. So I guess we did already go through all that superconductive that I just brought back. Let's grab some more. It's not the most expensive thing, it's just uh, very slow. Lots of machine energy cost. When a buffer chest asks another buffer chest to give more than its request, it gets the reply, I go nothing? What? I got nothing? Alright, make a few more energy beam things, please. That's a lot of stuff it has to pick up. This is one of those uh, recipes that makes you wonder about using auto crafters. This is, by the way, with two... Uh, it's bottlenecked on the boss. It's with two superior inserters. Got sorry, indeed. No worries. Okay. So we got some beam stuff. Um, I definitely want these. Not worried about a receiver right now. And maybe I'll take more than one emitter while I'm at it. Okay. Let's just go with what we have. It's not that long of a trip. Let's see what we can get done. Uh, I thought Calidus ends with D-I-S. Calidus? Calidus orbit. Get out of here, bots. Or we could kidnap you by your own choice, I suppose. Never mind. These are stowaway bots. We are 63% of the way through energy weapon damage 19. Uh, 9 rather. 
19 would be a little bit more extreme. Um, but yeah, we should be reaching a critical mass of laser damage where we hopefully stop getting occasional alarming scratches on our hauler ships. That would be nice. Our ETA as we hit top speed is 2 minutes and 45 seconds. Um, and I guess before we get there I can plan some stuff out a little bit more. So we're definitely going to want some scaffolding here. I don't know why it always skips the first bit. And we'll do our um, big ol' media defenses and beams and stuff starting down here. And the first thing that we're going to energy beam uh, is... Oh yeah, I forgot. I did confirm hostile extinction on these worlds. Actually, we can aim the beam pretty much anywhere. Uh, we could aim it at Kalmea. At, um... Uh, at Stromhurst. It'd be a little bit weak, but it really doesn't need to be strong to kill the last couple of worms that are on the planet. Are there space bugs in space exploration mod? Uh, biters that attack you in space? Not yet. Uh, maybe, maybe in the future. I don't know. Alright, we'll be there in a minute. Fantastic. I saw Mike actually spammed Naquitite uh, solar panels in his playthrough. I didn't want to spend that much time farming Naquitite by the time I got there. Although UPS should be significantly higher by the end of the game for this playthrough. I certainly hope so anyway. Why is it down to 50 as I talk about this? Now it's 60 again. Fraser, Fraser, Fraser. Any particular reason you went with the size of city blocks that you did? Uh, yes, actually. I wanted to fit uh, LCCL trains quite snugly in here, but with enough room that I didn't bother to signal it here properly. Um, if we have... Maybe I should just send the construction train up there for a moment. If we have a train parked here, and a train parked here, they've got just enough room to not block each other, or block anyone going through the roundabout. Um, I find the two cargo wagons per train to, to be a pretty good uh, balance between volume and speed. And at least while we were on the ground, I found the amount of space in half a block uh, to build around a wide area beacon was quite good. Um, unfortunately, oh, the bots are doing their thing where they just sit idle for a while. Um, unfortunately, what is going on here? Oh, it's in logistic mode. That's probably why. There we go. There we go. What was I saying? Um, to build things around a wide area beacon on one half of the block fits very, very, very well while we're building stuff on the ground. Unfortunately, some of the larger buildings in space, it really doesn't work that well. Maybe 
You know what? Maybe in a future playthrough... I was going to suggest having different size rail blocks in space, but then lining up the space elevator would be a little bit of a pain. Maybe it'll be fine, actually. But yeah, uh, when it comes to big stuff like particle accelerators, obviously we can't make the most of a beacon uh, within half a block with this. But that's not that big of a deal. The only, th uh, the only other little thing that I really found disappointing was with the huge storage tanks. Uh, we're one tile short of being able to fit them on both sides of the pickup or drop off for maximum speed of loading or unloading fluids. That's one arbitrary reason I might make them slightly bigger. But that would just... Like, I'd have to make the roundabouts bigger for that. Um, which is arbitrarily not... Uh, arguably not the best. Um, but yeah. In terms of, like... I, I found it much more enjoyable than my last playthrough with four cargo wagons. Um, as my standard train. Uh, I, I much prefer how long it takes for a train... A, like a train load of stuff to fill up um, and also the trains have more acceleration and that's before we you know use the space locomotives and give them advanced additional electric engines the uh, the shorter trains are obviously a lot more nimble which uh, lends uh, lends them to not getting into traffic jams as much and stuff like that and even if there is a traffic jam, uh, it gets resolved a lot faster as soon as everything starts moving. Because they've all got so much more acceleration. I made a 13x13 13 13 chunk train grid so that the advanced robots give construction area for the whole area. Indeed. Did we already cover this? Yeah, we did. Um, you know, I know the bots are not the best at this, but I'm feeling particularly lazy. Whoops. They're getting confused every time I move it, though. Alright. So this is where we're going to have our uh, media defenses, I think. Probably have one of these right in the middle. Um, in fact, could I make it nice and... 45 degrees-ish, I guess. Kind of. Give me those media defenses. That is significantly more than we need. And we were going to do them this far apart. And a 2x2 two two request a chest. Which I think we might have handy. Probably not actually. We have request a storehouses. Can I not handcraft one? I can. Uh, and my robot pots are off. There we go. And same thing on the other side. Meteor defense ammo. Now, if I'm gonna have a ch if I'm gonna have a ship deliver these via buffer chest, then we're gonna have to have a storage. Well, we're going to have to request... We either request and with a static requester and read from this chest, which I think is the way I'll go. Uh, 96 times 20. 
1920. Okay. But we don't want it to actually get full and leave stuff in the ship. So let's call it 1600. This is a lot. Especially for how close we are to our main base. Let's just set it to like a thousand. How much did I even bring? 402. Yeah, I think I'll do a separate little um, resupply circuit. Just like I did last time, except it'll take advantage of Foenestra. We'll have a very small ship that runs ammo and whatever else that these little outposts need. Alright, let me give him a hand. Let me give our poor little robots a hand with my overpowered concrete placement abilities. This is in the way. That's not quite right. I wanted to play Factoria, but I realized next step is to build all data cards for Astro Science. Sounds like too much work. I'd rather work on my employer's work. <laughs> Indeed. Um... And then? Alright, me uh, media defenses accomplished. How big is our transmitter? It's not 4x4, four four, is it? It has to be just one tile bigger, doesn't it? Can't squeeze it in here and no symmetry. Feels bad, man. We could use the same uh, global timer channel that we've been using central clock to do a timeshare whether it's on central dispatch or some other channel I don't think I'll be sending it to central dispatch no uh, but yeah we could uh, report destination and whether ship should go by a phonestra and what it's asking for, like what it needs for resupply, just like we've done with other outposts. I think we will do that. We're going to be stealing from ourselves for quite a few things um, for this outpost, these outposts. All right, so you can go here. You can go here. And then... How much space do we need for an energy beam emitter? If we only want to pump 6 megawatt into it, we can do that. Um, if we want 12, that's not quite enough. I think we'll extend it a little bit further just so that we at least have the option to go, let's see, uh, 16 megawatt worth of energy into one beam. That doesn't seem too unreasonable. We get 12.2 megawatt, oh, is this gigawatt? This is gigawatt. <laughs> I was going to say... Uh, 16 gigawatt of power, the first gigawatt that this costs doesn't do anything. Um, if it's going to go that far down, we're going to need some more 
Substation pylons. That looks kind of tacky though. How about... Does this actually reach down here? Oh, it does. How about... Get that out of the way. And then we could have some substation pylons across here where necessary. That's not gonna line up very well with these ones, is it? It's gonna be a it's gonna be all untidy on the map. What if I bring this down here somewhere? And we do a regular pylon up here. And then flip this around. Is that actually 45 degree? I don't think so. It's close-ish. I can probably live with that. Get out of here. There we go. Okay. So then we can have... Well, presumably that's not going to line up somewhere. How many more scaffold do we have? 4.3k plating, not including what's in my inventory. This is a good start. Not as much as you might imagine. I should just put this up here. And then it's not never going to be in the way of anything as it continues over this way. No, that was the problem. It this mm. What if we just don't have these? Oops. That's probably fine actually. That's probably super fine actually. Spaceship's kind of confusing the issue, but if that goes there, it's going to be like a couple of tiles in the middle here that's not powered. Uh, not anymore, there isn't. Okay. And then that can repeat indefinitely, and this can repeat indefinitely, no matter how close or far we put them apart. And yeah. Did I really not bring more than 12 energy beam injectors? Okay then. Uh, so how much power do we have? Nowhere near enough. We need 11.3 gigawatt. Surely it's more than that. It should be... Oh, 10, 11, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's right. Pretty much 11.3 gig, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we are a little bit less than halfway there so far. Give me more, some more flat solars. Activate my bots. Um, probably... Oh. Why are my bots not... There they go. They're very sporadic. They're very... 
very, very sporadic. Why can't I place this? Oh, because I'm not carrying it? That's a pretty good reason. Let me in. Let me in. Morning, Viking Gamer. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. More solar. How much power do we have? Two thirds of the way there. Uh, let's double it. I'm going to have to go back for more scaffolding though, I think. I'm definitely going to have to go back for more scaffolding. Alright. What are we working on? Uh, we are at the sun, and we've got energy beaming tech. We're setting that up for the first time. We just drop the solar panels, they take up way too much. They're very stack size inefficient. There we go. Bayaku. Rouse, rouse. And a little bit more down here. further we can go. Uh, how much have I got left? Only 129. This is like two of these, if we're lucky. Which we're not. It's the scammer line. Ring ring? Yeah, that's uh that's an emergency phone, it's not supposed to be used. That neighbor dog learned to Learnt to bark like a phone, indeed. <laughs> Alright, let's go back and get some more plating, I guess. Wait, how much power do we have? 9.3 gigawatt. Why don't I just shave off a couple here? And accumulators are charging, which means we've got enough power. Alright, let's point this thing at... Oh, uh, Stromhurst, first of all. I'm pretty sure we can point it wherever we like, it just gets much less uh, energy efficiency. Stromhurst, where we have been unable to confirm hostile extinction. And autoclave. There it is. There's the sneaky one. It was right near one of the train stops. Is there another one? We'll soon find out. I had one myself not ten minutes ago. A dog that barks like a phone? Alright, is the beam going to jump or is it going to... Yes, it's going to jump. Fantastic. There's also some up here. Scammer call, indeed. And then... Oh, there's still one over here. Scorchy scorch. How much more uh, plating do we have back here? Only 2k? 
slackers. So that was what? Uh, three different locations of worms that we missed. Not that I'm surprised. Look at that health just slowly melting off. It's like about, what, 30 per second? And then we have some more. Good grief. I like shooting Artie personally. We've done that. The Artie only reaches, like, here. At best. Only issue is the range, indeed. Christoph Kr uh, Kr Chris Blair. Words. I tried to be a little fancy pronouncing it. My brain is too melted today. Christoph Clades. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That is a big worm. I just want to make sure we're not going to scorch our own stuff. That's why I'm watching this. There should only be like a dozen worms left at most. Probably. Probably. This is actually <laughs> going to take a little while just to cook this one worm. Used a plague rocket yet? We will never use plague rocket. No ecocide. Not even once. You know, I have these media defense installations here, and the energy cost is so trivial compared to one energy beam injector uh, that I think I'll just expand this even more. Uh, once I get the chance, that is. Kind of parked my ship in the wrong spot. Let's also expand over this way insofar as we can. More power. I could steal a little bit of scaffolding from down here. Just temporarily. Fantastic. Yeah, what do these cost? Like 20 megawatt. 40 when they're charging. Um, that, that is a... For one thing, it's like two solar panels. For another thing, it's a drop in the bucket compared to the energy beaming. Still cooking this thing. Seems energy damage makes a huge difference. Oh, as in the biters don't have resistances to it? Yes, absolutely. I have only power six feeders instead of eight, but it clears behemoth worms in a second or two. Energy debt. Oh, as in the research. Well, we're also doing this interstellar, so uh, we're going from Calidus to Kalmea. Almost. Which isn't that far as far as interstellar distances go. Uh, if you're energy beaming this kind of distance um, in order to support uh, asteroid field mining, then you're laughing. But, you know, uh, transmission efficiency 13.8%. That is a significant drop. It's like one-eighth, just barely more than one-eighth um, power. Cleaned only in my solar system, indeed. Alright, so we do have the glaive uh, not teleporting when it's covering a shorter distance. Uh, which does make me only a little bit nervous that we're going to cook our own stuff. But it, it's probably fine, right? Probably. I wonder if the number of injectors versus uh, 
the efficiency because of the distance. I wonder if the efficiency is means we'd get a less fast uh, tracking energy beam. Oh, look at that. They took a little bit of damage and regen the sky over here is once we clear the autosave, I think we can see it's very slowly very very slowly dying just from the beam being over here. Starter planet next? Uh almost. I'm gonna do Moss Garden first, because it's only 2.5k radius. Um and I want to set up an outpost here. It won't take that long to clear, but it it's not insignificant, the amount of time it'll take to clear that. Um, I should probably go and set up... I should probably go and set up the orbital outpost with, most importantly, the um, anti-media defense before we get started beaming Moss Garden itself, because we want to prevent uh, the Bite of Medias from coming down. Well, most importantly, we want to keep the Bite of Medias from coming down after we actually clear the planet, right? Start scanning Moss Garden, indeed. Bungie Bum, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Morbid Dragon, Rayclaw, good to see you again also. If I didn't say so already. Alright, how are we doing? Oh no, it's going to track all the way over there. Can I, like, force it to reset? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can save a little bit of time that way. Alright. Um, so we should probably keep expanding solar panels. So we can keep adding more power. You know what, let me just blueprint this right here. Uh, let me just mark how far we need to go. And... I forgot. That was inclusive. Okay. Snap to grid relative. Make it a bit easy. And rotate over this way. Is that blueprint? Here we go. Need it in Navsat view. And I think we'll go out about that far. So how much more... It will include this, which will get removed as soon as it's placed, but approximately how many tiles do we need here? 13,000. That is not the smallest of numbers. We've got 3.3 thousand. Really squeeze any more in there. Wait, don't we use plating for something in science at some point? I've got an I've got an an excuse to mass produce it, don't I? Plating. Uh, it goes into advanced tech cards. Cool, cool, cool. So how do we make plating? It's scaffolding plus girder plus something, right? And we can't. Uh, Oh. Oh, I forgot. They force us to make this in the sky now. I think we used to be able to get prod bonuses for this. I could be wrong. 
No, I think I'm wrong, wrong about that. But more importantly, uh, we can't actually make this on the ground. Which is a little cringe, because we can't, you know, save a bunch of uh, inventory space bringing stuff up to space. But... Where are we making platform scaffold? Is it all just in the mall? I think it is. I don't have, like, a train block to do it. Blueprint an auto-expanding Roboport one. Better to use cheaper scaffold for this purpose. Yeah, but we've got, like, infinite... I mean, it's actually, like, build time that's the problem with this. It's not the actual materials at this point. I could swap scaffolding in behind the scenes with all these, I guess. Be a little bit sneaky. Maybe I will do that. I didn't bring enough scaffolding to affect a blueprint, though. Alright, let's maybe set this back to the way it was. Scaffolding? 4.8k. And let's head back to the mall. Um, just fill this up with plating since we can easily afford that now. And then... Uh, I'll probably just leave some solar panels here actually. take from these ones as well, because the stack size is so bad. Okay, how's our beaming coming along? Oh, it's finished. Yeah, I think it's finished. Uh, autoclave. No enemies found on... Stromhurst. Fan bloody tastic. Confirmed hostile extinction. We can now do a trim. And the autosave is gonna be that much quicker. Wow, that's um That's a pretty underwhelming trim. Why are we where do we have all this area still on the map? Is that a... Do I have to, like, get rid of the red blips or something? That I couldn't find before and that's why we did energy beaming? Surely not. Anyone know why the trim would be so small? Items on the ground anywhere? I don't think so. Or could, like, rocks count or something? Surely not. Oh. Well, that was more aggressive. What? I wonder why it just allowed us to trim the top this time. Should we keep trying? I don't know, man. Whatever, I guess it's an improvement. Uh, now let's aim at Moss Garden. Autoclave. Oh, that is... That is a little bit faster. Yeah, double quad damage will do that. It's almost like this guy's trying to run away. Poor thing. Good thing it's just a really simple AI and not actually a helpless animal. Look at those trees get deleted and not get set on fire. 
Is the beam never going to go after the actual biters? Am I going to have to hunt those down myself? Oh no. Well, in any case, it's not going to take too long to clear Moss Garden. Trees are evaporating? Yeah, they are. Yes, they are. Let's go back to Gen Orb. Grab some plating and stuff. Grab a drink of water. Don't drink all the water in feels in what feels like ten seconds. I'll be in line. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We'll be back in two and a half minutes. How's Moss Garden looking? I guess I could head straight to Moss Garden. No, I've got almost no scaffolding. That wouldn't be the best start. Where the hell am I? Oh, this is orbit up. Um, where's the middle? Over here. I could manually aim the energy beam to get rid of trees and stuff in the way of the uh, spell evader. Let's do that. Glaive at this spot here. And that should be all it takes. Oh wow. Even up here they're getting hit. Slowly. Okay. And then... I should make a shortcut for this. Um, create new pin. Control 5. Let's see. Hagen orbit, Hagen... What the heck is 2? Oh, this is one of... Oh, this is our second outpost. I, I've never used this shortcut in such a long time. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Um, Hotkey shortcuts will do... Control 2. Or Calidus Orbit. Is there a shortcut for this? Shift N, that's good. Why is this under miscellaneous though? We've got Calidus, we've got Calmea, we've got Nalvis, and then we've got miscellaneous. Dilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, Shift N, click, or I could go Control 2. I should probably learn to go Shift N, that's really, really convenient. And autoclave. Fantastic. That thing has an awful lot of health. Twenty seven thousand. That is not a small number. At least they're doing us the favor of running to where they're going to get hit again. Oh yeah, also, if we used the extinction bomb on a Vitamelange planet, it turns all the Vitamelange into coal. I don't know if that includes the core fragments or not. In any case, let's grab some more scaffolding and stuff. How much scaffolding do we need for our outpost blueprint? 18,000. Uh, we are a little short here. Uh, 
we need about four times what's already been brought over. I think this would be a good time to build a block uh, that makes space platform plating and scaffolding. So let's start with the usual. Grab ye old regular block. Beta cores seem also to turn to coal. That is extremely useful information, potentially. So we could have a coal core fragment planet in our system if we really want. But we've already got oil, and we can turn oil into coal. Maybe not in the same volume that we might otherwise get. Also, also, are we researching? Yeah, we're researching. I queued up some targeted zone discovery for... was it Vita? No, crude oil, because we've literally only found one planet or moon with crude oil core fragments. We've got three coal, uh, several copper, quite a lot of Immersite Cave. I may have done targeted searching for that, actually. Uh, quite a few iron, quite a few mineral water. I forgot that was even a thing. Uh, rare metals, beryl, rhinite, only a handful of holmanite, bunch of iridite, uh, methane ice, that's not a core fragment, it's asteroid fields, quite a few vitamelange, quite a few vulcanite, plenty of stone, although some of those are asteroid fields and stuff, uh, and Quite a lot of uranium ore core fragments, but literally only one planet or moon that has crude oil. Uh, I can't remember, I talked about this yesterday, but I can't remember if you only ever find crude oil core fragments here, or have we just been unlucky, kind of. Hi, Space Exploration 016. Um, uh, how did you organize the smelting of copper and iron? Through the casting machine. Uh, so here we have a build for enriched copper. The iron one is the same. Pretty straightforward. Copper goes in, uh, water and sulfuric acid go in. We do need to deal with, uh, dirty water, but I've exported that to another module. Um, and then here we have the enriched going in here, and then just pump it over to this side for a bunch of, uh, casting machines. I left room for a wide area beacon here as well, but either I forgot to put it there and or we haven't really needed it for copper. Lion? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, is this... Wow, that was faster than expected. Uh, we're ready, I think. Probably... We might be short on plating. Let's design the block that's going to make us more plating while we wait a little bit longer. So, it's just like three solids in, one solid out, right? And then we need to do another thing. I probably will use the larger assembly machines, the uh, space manufactories, as opposed to several smaller ones, which is worse for UPS. Uh, and then, same thing for the space platform plating. And I want this to be super fast, because, my goodness, we are going through a lot of it. Thank you, you're welcome. Let's go... all the speed modules in here. Bunch of... if... what? 
bunch of efficiency modules in here. And then we start... Wait, really? Oh, it's not under the beacon. Uh, then we start adding speed modules until... That's not going to be as many speed modules as usual. There we go. Negative 80% uh, power consumption, but as much speed as possible otherwise. Do you know if you get more plates per raw ore with K2 compared to SE only? Uh, I haven't really looked. Okay, so LDS Heat Shield Steel comes from here. We'll do the old... since there's less than five, we have room for four filters. We'll do set filters blacklist. And the old... whoops, set filters. And the old shift right click, shift left click. And then, technically I could do a sushi belt since they are really slow, actually. This consumes and creates four per second of each resource in a space manufactory. My dog hears it and is growling lowly, wants to know what the barking is for. Oh no. Everything. The barking is for everything. When I close my window uh, before I start streaming to cut out noise, uh, the dog takes that as a challenge to its authority or something. It's... it's cool. Anyway, um, how many of these can and should we cram together? Space platform plating is going to be slower, right? Without prod, it's slightly less than K2, but because it's more steps with prod, it's more. Okay, so our rate, but individually, is like three times weaker. It's literally three times weaker. 3.8 per second, 3.8 per second. And we mostly want plating, right? That's the thing that we're going to need for science. Um, I don't suppose... No. It's not like I could fit a good multiple here. We can fit five on one side. Could just go one, two, three, one. I mean, it'd, it'd be the other way around, right? One, two, three, one should be perfect ratio. Not obsessed too much over making the most out of all the space. I kind of want to use an entire block. It's not going to be that many machines, and the throughput isn't going to be very high. Also, we're going to need uh, heavy girders as well. How do I want to lay this out? There's no fluids involved. So we can do what we like with all this space. 
Of course, I could fit more under the individual beacons if I wasn't uh, constrained to the half block or if I had a wider rail block. Um, so this adds heavy garter to the mix. So we need steel all the way down. Uh, we need heavy girder to come to these ones. I'm thinking we'll do steel heavy girder on a certain set of belts. Steel heavy girder. Something like this. And I could probably move this all the way up here, actually. Because... Well, we're going to have two stations for output down here anyway, right? There's going to be plenty of room for them, I think. It's just one solid... Uh, each. Very simple. Okay. So if we then go steel heavy girder. Oh, um, 3.8 per second. This is all incredibly slow. Except for the steel consumption of this one. Well, all of them consume steel kind of fast, actually. That's not really fast. So we're looking at how much steel? 19 per second, a little bit less than half a belt. It should be fine. Um, I kind of want to do... Like, loaders for input, anyway. Let's do that. Except girders don't go in here. Um, how about this? What's the other input? Heat shield LDS. I could do those in the middle. Don't have a whole lot of room to to do this the way I would like how about something like that and we could do that there there's at least room for it or on this side we could do it like this That's probably going to look a bit tidier. Alright. Heat. LDS. And that's... That's not LDS. Oh. That mistake again. Alright. So Heat Shield LDS only goes to these ones, right? Yes. So we could just do something like this. In fact, there's absolutely no need to do a half belt. Whatever. That one's really straightforward. Just for the consistency of it. Do this one like this. And steel. Uh, steel is going to have an insert of input. And 
after that, I would like to use some loaders, perhaps. Which means splitter, loader, underground. And the same thing again. Does that reach far? Relatively? It almost makes a good pattern. Bruh. I can live with that, I guess. And then we need scaffolding. Probably output the scaffolding down the middle, and we'll do scaffolding here. Uh, how fast is it going to be? 7.6 per second. I guess it's a start. And all of the scaffolding is going to go into plating if we're making plating. This is fine. How fast does it consume it? Really, 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 really slowly. It also makes it pretty slowly. I'll still do a loader just for the look of it. I could do the... Hmm. I could actually do a shared belt here. Why not? Old Busk, thank you very much for the two months. Much appreciated, thank you. And a welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. It's kind of hard to see. Alright, um, how often do we need a whole trainload of space platform plating? Probably not very often. It's going to take ages to make it anyway, so yeah, I think we'll just do uh, the usual slow load. One makes five for advanced tech cards, one makes one for particle beam shielding. Okay. If you're outputting both, don't you want to make a bit more of the basic one? This will use it all up. Uh, yeah, but I'm pretty sure we're going to easily overproduce um, compared to what we need with these giant machines. But on the other hand, we do have... A lot of room to very conveniently do more scaffolding. That is true. You know what? You might have a point. And then... Only thing is we need to get these two down to here as well. Hmm. Now I do want to do the split belt. It's going to be a lot more convenient. Just like this. Yeah, 
You'll perpetually need more than a half belt of steel now. Uh, in theory, yes. Just barely. And only when everything's going at full speed, which it's only going to do sporadically. I can live with this. It's 22.8 as opposed to 22.5 per second. Not too bad. That looks a bit weird. Whatever, it's fine. Close enough, indeed. So then... Like that. And... Like that. And like this. Oh, these are going to be on opposite sides. Yeah, I should probably swap those around so that when we merge them, um, they'll be on the same sides of the bell. And then... Just limit to one train load. It stacks to 100, and at most we're making 15.2 uh, scaffold per second, so I think we'll be fine. Alright. Merge in here. And I want scuff down this way. over here. And we could obviously double this uh, pretty easily if we want to. Actually, let me just grab this blueprint. Alright. Um, long trains or short trains are fine. Scaffolding is being picked up. Same thing here, except instead of scaffolding, it is base platform plating. Did you finish designing that quad bio block? No, no I didn't. Not even a little bit. Alright, let's remove the excess. And I could potentially use space platform plating in this block. It feels somehow appropriate. You know what? Scaffolding on the left, plating on the right. And the rest of this can... Actually, what if we do this? This is plating...
This is plating. Did I add one too many tiles? And I guess I'll make this part plating. That looks kind of neat. I kind of like that. Okay. Here we are requesting... Uh, these four things. Heat shield, LDS. Uh, heavy gutter and steel plate. And it's going into space manufactory. And out comes scaffolding and also space platform plating. Why isn't the plating running? Uh, because I haven't done the scaffolding input for it. Easily remedied. Fantastic. Oh. So it actually sort of very slightly prioritizes uh, space platform scaffolding, which is fine, I guess. won't matter for very long. Neat. I didn't think I'd end up liking such a basic build. And now we can stop spamming it in the mall. Get rid of a bunch of extra little machines. And also get, uh, far more of this stuff made. One scaffold not running? Who saw this? Uh, let me just check. I hope that is not the case. I don't have to do the blueprint again. No! Why isn't it running, though? It says there's... Oh, it's probably... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a little bit of... LDS on the wrong side of this belt that I didn't take care of earlier. And I sort of thought that it would just sort itself out, but it didn't. So the blueprint is correct. Nice. Very good. Right. Uh, let's go make this thing in our game. And where should we put it? Let's see. Its inputs are heat shield, LDS, girders, everything. It all comes up from, from the space elevator. Heat shield, LDS, girders steel plate probably around here to minimize the length that the train has to go but what does plating go into 
at scale. Advanced tech card, which is kind of a neutral science thing. It does eat bioscrubbers, which are kind of bioscience, but like... We make these on the this on the ground anyway. Okay. Uh, I think I will put it. About here? Here. This'll do. Where did I put my blueprint? It's in here, isn't it? No, I I'm sure I put it. Where on earth did I put the blueprint? Is it like on the ground here somewhere? Because it was in this inventory? I think I need to make it again. The plating is looking good, makes the orbit blocks real nice, indeed. Let me try... Um... I don't think I can blacklist just the blueprints. I'll just blueprint it again. But did I like put it in here and then like not even notice? I I don't know. All right, blueprint again. It's not going to take long. Putting it off almost as long as it takes to make the actual thing. 86, 25, 1. And... That's it. Space, flat, on, plate. And it should probably go, like, here. All right, I think this is the spot. Let's get our scaffolding train to park about here. Construction train, do you have some You've only got eight space manuf uh, four space manufactories. We need like one, two, three, four, five, ten, I think it was. And now we need more space manufactories. Faster to make new, indeed. It was on the ground, saw it when you deleted items on the ground. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. God eight. God damn it. Um, remove the rad facilities. And the thermo. Cool. And then park over here. I still haven't given the construction train up here any modules. Uh, I'm not carrying any somehow. Oh, yes, I am. Not that many, though. We've got 1.7k speed 3s lying around somewhere. Doop a doop. Hey, doop a doop. That must have been energy weapons damage. Or something. Maybe it was Catalog 4. Uh, we're very close to having Material 4 unlocked. And then we're going to do some targeted zone discovery again. Alright. Let's zoom on over. And back to the mall when we come back. Remember to put in some plating. Uh, to what, the construction train? I've got the a, a specific other train to carry scaffolding and plating. Oh no, I forgot the actual blueprint while the construction train was passing. Wait, it's still out. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. No, go back here. Okay. Okay. 
There we go. Come here and wait. Now, blueprint. There it is. Saved, nice. What a save. I don't know how many people in my audience would get the reference. I kind of miss playing Rocket League, but I don't miss going through a controller every two months. And no, I'm not throwing them in a fit of rage. They just don't... Uh, they just don't appreciate the abuse. Well, I say abuse. Uh, controllers are not made very well. Or at least not these ones. Alright, uh, do we have a train coming? We do not, because I forgot to configure the trains. Uh, we need heat shield, LDS, uh, heavy gutter, and steel plate. That's not steel plate. 50, 100, plus 10%. And 100, 100, plus 10 percent. So we're doing uh, 440 stacks out of 640, should be fine. That's it. Everything is made cheap now, it's sad. Yeah. Don't get me started. Especially considering how many thousands upon thousands upon thousands of hours it takes to get pretty good at a game like Rocket League. Practicing uh, flying with constant air roll because it gives you spin stabilization and eventually the... Uh, how can I put this? Like a like a lookup table in your brain for how to go from any angle to any other angle. Planned obsolescence, indeed. Here comes heat shield, and here comes. Oh, we're getting the. Uh... LDS from the mall for some reason? That's weird. We ended up with 150 stacks of... Because we asked for two train loads. Okay. That does mean it's going to take a little while longer for that train to load up. Cracked? What? For some stuff you can still buy quality, but you're paying five times as much then. Also, good morning, Simrock. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Keelix, welcome also. Not Steel Mage, I think I saw you earlier today. Uh, yes. Um, doing anything special to make LTN so responsive? Uh, let's see. Settings, mod settings. LTN... Uh, updates per tick, 20. Update frequency, 1. You'd be surprised. J like, just play with these settings. Um, you'd be surprised how much you can get away with without it impacting uh, UPS. It's been some time. How are you doing? Not too bad. Not too bad. Thank you. All right, there is our plating. Maybe I should double it right from the beginning, though. Let's see. We have, in the mall, 1.2 per second plus 0.5 per second. Actually, it's like double that. Almost one per second plating. Uh, and this can do... 
a lot more than that. No, I think we'll be fine. It's just because we're behind. Cool, thanks. My LTN is sleeping on the job compared to this, indeed. Yeah, last playthrough I had a lot more delay with LTN, but um, I just experimented with the settings. Like, you'd be surprised, making LTN more aggressive at checking for deliveries really doesn't impact the UPS as much as you might expect. Uh, okay, so we're now going to ask for scaffolding to be delivered here. Scaff. 11,000. Is that enough? Because this scaffolding counts as being in the network. We've got 30, 37,000 scaffolding as it is. Um, but let's see, like... Call this 20,000, um, pretend this is 20,000, I think we need like 30 to 40,000 to be requested. Well, it really depends just what's in the buffer chests, 3.5, 7, 14. Plus 20, 30. Let's make it 35,000. And as for plating, uh, I don't know. Say 20k? Sigma Bean, Bidrith, uh, Savi the Fox, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Marf, 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 what? It helps with the space trains with engines. Oh yeah, definitely. Considering switching to Cybersyn as train scheduling mod, but I don't want to adopt 500, adapt 500 stations, indeed. When the ship leaves, won't it loop? When the ship leaves... Oh, as in when we've suddenly got less, uh, plating storage? I don't know. So this right here is like 25,000. I think we'll... Yeah, I think we'll go for like 30,000 for that as well. It's not that much storage. And we could probably get rid of these already. Also this. And this. And this. We're tidying up. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot. It kind of prioritizes plating. It does ask for slightly more than half a belt of steel plate, and we sort of prioritize the scaffolding here, but all the scaffolding, almost all the scaffolding gets numbed by space platform plating inserters. It's actually kind of even. Yeah, it's actually very even, surprisingly. Well, we did do, like, a perfect ratio here. Whoops, that's electricity for some reason. Why, why are we electricity -ing? That's actually... Why are we electricity -ing by default now? What? Uh, what happened? No, I don't want to... I don't want to check electricity by default when I do rate calculator. What the hell? Do I need to go into mod settings? I don't think I changed anything there. I don't think you can change anything there. 
What? Oh, uh, I think I I think I got it. Shift shift plus mouse wheel. There's an all? I guess all defaults to materials. Or it depends on it's context sensitive. Okay, let's just do materials by default. Fantastic. It's a key that someone told you about last time this happened. Yeah, that was ages ago. And it's such a... Like, it doesn't tell you, as far as I know, anywhere, that, that, that that's a shortcut key for that. It's like a hidden feature that you'll find the hard way. Alright, um, so how's plating back at our ship? We've got quite a bit already, right? I think we can at least go back to the sun and make some stuff happen. Well, it wasn't even the sun that we want to go to next. It's, um... Moss Garden Orbit. I like the name Moss Garden for our nearest Vidimelange planet. Speaking of Vidimelange, I wanted to check, um... Let's see... I wish I could filter out everything but the Vidimelange planets. Because I want to search these and then filter by lowest solar power and then largest radius. Oh, here it is. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're definitely, definitely, definitely going to Vazanis uh, when it comes time to get Vidimelange at scale. Parent is Vazanis. Uh, where is Vazanis? Could be anywhere. I didn't check the distance. Vo... Vozanis. Right next to Bumperfield. What a name. Uh, so the planet is Bombato. Very... Not the closest it ever gets to the interstellar map, but pretty damn close. And pretty damn large radius, which means we'll get the most vitamelange out of the fewest coal mining drills. And there's hardly any biters on it. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't even bother setting up at Moss Garden. No, the, the short distance is very, very helpful. Vitamedias, what? Yeah, uh, every vitamelange vit planet uh, has vitamedias. Uh, you do get some other random planets that have Bida Medias. Like... Do we have one? Here it is, Eshu. Our moon closest to Nalvis. Uh, basically, if you fail to shoot down a Media, uh, a Bida Nest will spawn. Even if you have expansion turned off, I'm pretty sure. Uh... There's, there's going to be an awful lot of spider troops walking around. At least there's movement. We can find them that way. Um, are we still beaming? I think we stopped beaming. I think we probably beamed faster than the scan. And then... Nope. Nope, we are beaming. Okay. What's our biter percentage here? It's only 17%. So the thought of clearing a really big planet with 7% at much longer range uh, actually kind of not great. So let's, let's do Moss Garden first. What specs are needed to play a map of this size? Uh, kind of hard to say, because it'll run perfectly at first. What did you do to your hotbar? What about it? Oh.
Was that it? Elevator cable needed? Yeah, we're not going to set up the elevator just yet. Has it? Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. ETA is 85 seconds. For Moss Garden Orbit. And then... We'll want to set up GPS equals zero comma zero comma moss guard moose moss garden orbit with the capitals at the start. There we go. Um, and I think I need to clear a bit more explored area here to make sure our blueprint is gonna place properly. Okay. Let's see if I can get this centered first time. Where am I going? I think that is wrong, actually. Right about... it stopped flashing, didn't it? Okay. Where is it? Is this it? Cannot build on empty space. How dare you. Uh, that is also slightly off. I want it to be on zero zero. <laughs> so sue me. I think that's it. I think that is it. Thirteen by thirteen, that's uh hundred and sixty-nine. I should have actually gone twelve by twelve. But I think this is centered now. Yes. Yes, that is centered. And bloody tastic. Let's land or anchor right here. Can you make it snap to grid? Uh, maybe. Possibly. Maybe when I'm placing it next time. I'll get the snap too. Alright, uh, we're going to keep our roboport off at first. Because bots are really not very effective at placing floor at this scale. We go a bit more. One off. Be physically closer to that one. Now is the time to do it when you have the reference. Yeah, but I landed the spaceship. <laughs> That's the only problem. Um, actually, what if I just play with this? What, okay, if I go, we've already got a snap to grid absolute two by two. Um, it should be happy as long as it's an even number, right? So like 100 by 100 is too small, actually. Uh, how far off is this? It's only two off horizontally. Oops. So, X position 142, is this right? I could obviously make the, the size a lot bigger. Maybe I should. Width, 1,000. Maybe not 1,000. 800? How many tiles wide is it, actually? Can I move this around? It's hard to see, but yes. Yes, it is. 
Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. 600? I can't even. There's, there's too few pixels. Oh no. If I put this here and then extend it, is it gonna... I think that's working as we hope. 220? Maybe 240? 280? Uh, that's four, eight, eleven, two hundred and ninety-one. I don't know if that's going to snap the way we want, but like for rail and for the space elevator and for, um, for the clamp, it might complain. But I could just put it at like 290, and then 150 or something, 180. Okay, and then we just have to get the offset right. Which is apparently... It needs to be like 50% to the left, or to the right, perhaps. However many tiles this is, from here to here. So horizontally we're looking at 134 plus like 12, I think. Maybe? 134 plus 12. Oh, research is happening. Uh, where is it? Uh, 140... What did I say? 134 plus 12. 146? And of course, now that looks all wonky. But let's see if it lines up the way we're hoping. Uh, I believe it does. I think that's, I think that's how horizontal snap. And then we need to bring it down like, how many tiles? A couple of hundred, perhaps? Let's see if that lines up. Not even close. Actually, it's... if we drag it down here, it's relatively close. Maybe I could do a negative so I don't have to point so far away. We have found a zone. Fantastic. Nin Ninuvar. Let's have a quick look. So we can indeed find more crude oil places. It's really far out in the solar system. Pretty big. Hardly any biters, biter medias. Maybe we'll get our crude oil from there. Wild guess, 145. Snapping to zero, zero, indeed. Um, so I want to go negative, like negative 100 on this, maybe. Oh, that is so close. Uh, wait, is that actually correct? No, 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 it's two tiles too high. What a good guess. Holy crap. Um, so it's either negative 98, I think it's negative 98, if not negative 102. Two. That's it's negative one hundred two. Uh, well, this took some work, but it'll make the next one a lot easier. Negative one hundred two, and that's it. That's our snap to. We just have to aim top right somewhere. 
Cool. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sander, welcome also. Set the flag to be the mill of the space elevator. I think we were trying to do that, though. Flag. I can't even see the flag. The flag is here. I don't think we can make the flag here and make it snap where we want, though. Alright, let's look at these oil places. We looked at Nian Uvar, it's decent. Liralei? Liralei. Uh, kinda small ish. Kinda far from the interstellar map. I don't think we'll go there. And then Poseidon. 9,000 radius. In the Wexivis system, we're already going there. Not that that really matters. Solar is relatively high, so it's going to be kind of far from the interstellar map. Wait, what? Oh, what? 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 Oh, I think that was using. I think that was going into um... Bonestra. Oh, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, here's Poseidon, kind of as far from the interstellar map as we can get, so I don't think we'll go there. What, sh what else should we research right now? Now that we have Material 3 and Energy 3? Um, I still haven't done... Oh, fast cooling? Yeah, I don't really care about that. I'll just mark it off so I don't have to look at this again. Uh, we also haven't done supercharges. I must have just missed it. Uh, we could also be doing construction pylons, but honestly, they're not that great. Heavy assembly. That's actually material four. We could do better personal batteries. That might actually not be the worst idea. Oh yeah, we can do spaceship structural integrity. Although I'm not going to really make much use of this. Plus 300 uh, structural integrity. We're going to go straight from 500 integrity to like 2000 with our haulers. But maybe some other spaceship design that'll come in handy. And Material Fabricator, sure. Okay. Poseidon, king of the oil fields? Indeed. Alright. Uh, we need to get back to placing scaffolding so that we can put down our blueprint properly. Ooh. How far away... How far away is Super Roboport? <gasps> we gotta get some advanced tech cards. No, we need Bio 3! Oh, no. I'd really like to put the Super Roboport... The, the large Roboport on a construction ship. But, alas, that's a while away. No Keck W. Also, I need to remember to actually... I thought I did ages ago, but it didn't seem to work. Set up, um, better TV emotes. He was so excited until Bio 3. <laughs> yeah, Bio 3, Destroyer of Excitement. What a shame. Alright. There's our scaffolding on the right side. And the left side. Not using trash slots? Nah. 
It's such a short trip. Oops. Oh, I remember my construction ships last playthrough when I was making huge solar fields at distant stars to make uh, energy beaming. Construction bots are so bad at this. Just placing mass scaffolding. Or concrete or whatever. Kind of needs to be like a different kind of construction bot for that or something. Not sure how that would work. A bulldozer, clearly. Um, we should have enough scaffolding. Yeah, we do. And a few hundred more. Fantastic. All right. We just want to help the bots with the majority of this, but I don't want to try too hard with the finer work. That's their job. And bots. A bot with some AoE. They do have a little bit of AoE. They can carry, uh, what is it, up to three or four items. Um, and you'll see them place a bunch of it all at once. But obviously, when it comes to two dimensions, uh, and one job per tile, or up to one job per tile. Uh, it adds up a bit too quickly. AoE research, indeed. Alright, and now we grab our blueprint and place it accurately with extreme ease. What is in the way? Space elevator internal rail is in the way. Uh, sure. That's fine. So the reason we came here at this point, while we're still cooking Moss Garden, uh, is so that we can shoot down the meteors. Oh, the bots are doing stuff. That's fine. Let's grab... Oops. Meteors and media ammo. I did bring... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't really need superior inserters for this. I just put them in the blueprint because... Uh, if the construction ship was going to do all this remotely, then I wanted it to have one less stack of stuff that I had to bring. have to be stack size research? Stack size research. Uh, Alright, I'm just going to cheat a little bit for the moment. We're going to connect the construction ship to all of this. And I might give it a hand with solar panels. A 
if you're wondering why we have accumulators in space, it's because the space elevator spikes power so aggressively that it can actually uh, throw off our combinator timing if we don't have accumulators. It's a very, very tall spike. It's less the volume of uh, energy storage here and more that each individual accumulator can only output 5 megawatt. Which is not that much more than the solar panel at this uh, closeness to the sun, actually. I'm not bothering with different, uh, different designs for different solar strength. They finally decide to place the pylon. How much power do you get from solar for the outpost? Uh, this one, 3.3 megawatt per panel. This is way more than we need, I'm sure. I built this to be more than we need for like an outpost that's quite far from the sun, actually. Kept mine at 6 gigawatt. Kept mine at 6 gigawatt. Oha, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, we do send power down the space elevator. That's capped at 6 gigawatt, whether we like it or not. Uh, what am I doing? I don't need this many accumulators. It's fine. Is that everything? Uh, actually, probably yes. Wait, that looks hilarious. Let's do it again. Oh, I'm not visible here. Perfect. Okay, we'll double check with Decon Planet Ghost. Uh, there's nothing that hasn't been built yet. Fantastic. Dish surfing, indeed. And then... May as well start charging uh, space train power packs, because those are pretty slow. doop a doop um, And I suppose we may as well configure this while we're here. So the planet orbit is Moon 1170. Um, that's our home address here. This needs to be Moon 1180 to go home. That is Hagen orbit. Moon 1170, that's kind of easy to remember. And we're not going via Foenestra. 1170. Easy peasy. No anomaly. Uh, this will be Vidamelange or Fragments. That we need to set these filters to. And everywhere that we see Core Fragment Granite. We need to swap that for Core Fragment Vitamelange. And there's a couple of hidden ones up here. Because I managed to smuggle in detecting that we have a spaceship on the green wire by checking for Vitamelange Core Frag... Uh, by checking for Core Fragments. Without adding any combinators. I'll just double check down here. That one needs to be Vit. Koha, thank Pog, thank you very much for the resub. The Prime for four months. Thank you so much. Tom Scott did that in a recent video. Uh, what did Tom Scott do? Dish surfing. I have no idea what I'm seeing, but I know I love it. Nice, thank you. Mustachery, welcome, welcome. Uh, whatever he did, I probably want to see it, especially if it's dish, uh, dish surfing. 
Okay, so we need to add a decider here. Is construction bot going to bring it, or... Why do I not have... How, how do I not have decider combinators in my inventory? That's pretty strange. He did it in Australia? Oh yeah, we have a huge dish. There is a dish in Oz that tips down to the ground level. Yes. I think that was the one that... Uh... Didn't they make a movie about it? The dish. Because it was needed for the Apollo landing. Working with combinators, I have no idea how all that works. Stick around. Also, Tom Scott one to two weeks ago. There's the DSN dish. The DSN dish. Uh, Vit core fragment. If it is equal to zero, pass everything through. If I recall correctly, that's how this works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if back at base we... Oh, I set this to like less than 26,000. Yeah, I remember. I changed how we detect this stuff. Uh, if vit core... Let's just copy this. Uh, if vit core fragment is less than 26k that we detect back at base at our drop-off, um, pass through the time signal from the central clock channel. And then if it is between certain values, it's our turn to send a signal. Uh, what values have we used? What's our latest outpost? I think it was, uh, verb t, actually. Moon orbit 1176. That has to be verb t. Moon orbit 1176. Okay, so the timing on this one is time signal greater than 20 and less than or equal to 25. I'm going to set this one to greater than 25 and less than or equal to 30. So call it 25 to 30 just to be a quick bit less accurate. Um, 20 to 25, 25 to 30. Fantastic. In all my Factorio time, I've never even launched a rocket. Get there eventually. Uh, these actually aren't needed and are counterproductive. This goes straight into this channel. Except that should change to... What are we up to? Signal 5? For our arbitrary signals that represent each outpost. Don't need to launch a rocket to have fun. This is true. And then we need one more set of arbitraries over here. Construction train needs to empty out random stuff. Make train go choo-choo, brain dispenses dopamine. Yes, it does. There's so many uh, emergent patterns in Factorio that are oddly satisfying to look at. I bet you will launch a rocket this year, indeed. Johan Anderson, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did we finish loading? Not yet. Almost there. Don't really need all this stuff right now, but whatever. <laughs> Alright. Go build, like, five combinators and skip the emptier and come back. Cool, cool, cool. Um, eleven seventy moon orbit. Yeah, I think I've set this up to the point where it's safe to select the correct channels now. Central clock. 
Central Dispatch. Um, I don't think I did this side yet with the storage chest filters. None of this needs to be changed. We already did this. Um, we already did this. And that just leaves this one. And this one. And this one. Uh, this should probably be like negative 100. The offset for spaceship has to be full. Because our bots are not that fast. And I think this is it. I think it's all set up now. We will have to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Vitamelange. Uh, let's see. The ID for the clamp when we land if we're carrying Vitamelange is going to be... Uh, 17. Which means 16 plus 1, because on the spaceship there's always a signal of 1 minimum for the target left clamp. So if this equals 16, pass it through. It's 15 plus 1. Fantastic. And I think that's our outpost, as far as the configuration is concerned. We're not going to put the space elevator cables in yet. Um, not until... Oh, I should view the opposite end. I kind of forgot to make sure the biters don't eat the space elevator. But we did clear the middle out already, so it's probably fine. My current K2 saves about 2,900 rockets launched. Oh, where can I check that? Don't forget to update the Vita 5 at the main section too. Vita 5. By main section, do you mean back at base? Oh, this thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're going to change S to 5. Uh, if... Whoops. If we detect moon orbit 1170, right? doop a -doop. Need to tidy up the extra roboports on orbit. We will do that. Let me just double check this for the seventh time. Moon orbit 1170. Uh, if moon orbit equals 1170, do some stuff. And this will be signal 5. Did I not change this? Oh, I set that to 5. As opposed to changed it to signal 5. Uh, we're looking for Vitamelange core fragments. So basically what we're doing here is... Uh, we compare how many core fragments are at the outpost to how much storage worth of spaceship is already on its way there. And if that number is greater than that number, uh, we're going to pass it through to the memory cell, and we'll hold onto it here until we can launch a ship. Connect the green wires at dispatch? I'm going to! Jeez. Jeez Louise. And furthermore, some cheese. Oh, this one wasn't connected. Um. Uh-oh. We may have the incorrect count on signal 4. Um. Yeah, I don't think we have seven, uh, negative 777,000 storage worth of core fragments of spaceship. Um on its way to that outpost. Quick send all the ships. 
This is the part where it's really hard to figure out how many ships are on their way to each outpost. I could suspend launches for now. If I just disconnect this wire... Yeah, 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 that'll do it, that'll do it. That's really easy, actually. Okay, so where are our ships? Polar 1 is waiting to unload. Wait, it, no, Holler 1 is loading. Very slowly at Exorion, because Exorion is slow. Why are you still filling that side? If everything equals zero. Um, so number one, we can ignore... Number 10 is dropping off barrel core fragments of Hagen Orbit. Number 11 is trying to drop off at Hagen Orbit. Number 12 is outbound via Foenestra. To... I think that's the barrel core fragment planet. 816. Spiriso. Yes. So that's one outbound to Spiriso. Which one's Spiriso? Um, this one. Number three. It looks like we've got two outbound to Spiriso. Closest Hagen orbit destination Foenestra. You've already got barrel. You don't count. You're on, the, on your way back. Volon Foenestra. This one's also coming back. Uh, this one has landed. This one is outbound. Just from Hurst. I'm, I'm expecting all of the counts to be correct except for that one that was way off. Um, Stromhurst is... isn't it ID2 or something? Or ID3, maybe. Strom... Where, where am I? Wexavis. Oh, Stromhurst isn't in Wexavis, it's in Kalmea. Stromhurst is... ID number one. Okay. ID number one. Uh, we apparently have just one ship on the way to Stromhurst. Which one was zero? It was, uh, Porsol. So apparently, I haven't seen one yet, but apparently there's three ships on the way to Corsol? And it doesn't go via Foenestra, so we should be able to see them. Destination Corsol Orbit, that's one. Fu. Uh... Oh, if there was one picking up from Corsol Orbit, then that would count as well. There is not. Don't tell me the Corsol Orbit one is off count as well. Uh, number nine, number seven, that seems to be it. I think the Corsal Orbit count is one off. Let me just double check that that's signal zero. Uh, it is indeed signal zero. So there's two spaceships outbound to Corsal right now. We need to subtract one ship. Oh no. Why did I overwrite that? This is 18,520. Um, 18,520. And it's signal zero. And it is times negative one. And we're just going to pulse that in. 
What the f fuck just happened? How did we just get negative 166k from that? 18,000 times negative 1 with a pulse generator? What? What? It's not a pulse generator. It behaved like a pulse generator before. What the hell? These two get a signal at the same time. This output's red. If red equals zero, output everything input count. Uh, what is this red wire doing here? I think that's the problem. Can you wait for them all to return, then hard reset? Yes, I was trying to not do that. That's the only thing. As, as soon as we have no ships that are outbound, we don't have to wait for them all to return. As, as soon as they're all coming back, we can just reset the whole memory cell and we know it'll be accurate. Uh, reserve, reserve. All right, let's look at our spaceships. Corsal orbit, ETA, only 30 seconds. You are home, you are going to Corsal orbit as well. ETA, 23 seconds. They're right behind each other. Literally, oh. Wait, what? Wait, what? All of seven, where are you? Corsal orbit, ETA, 8 seconds. Um, am I blind? Where is Paula 7? Oh, apparently it's right here. Okay. Oh, maybe they were literally on top of each other on the map. They were right on top of each other? Yeah, I think so. Um... So these count as still being outbound until they leave the station, so I just have to wait till they're on their way back. And... Well, it'll, it'll be like up to five or ten minutes. Um, this is a good opportunity to check that this thing works. How about red signal? Oh, that's the worst thing I could have picked. Green signal. Green signal is looping. Why is it looping? Input to here, input to here. If anything greater than zero, output. Greater than zero, that's why. I didn't set it to not equal to zero. So positives it was working correctly, which made me think it worked properly. And then negatives it was just... Uh, okay. So, some other signal. Purple. Negative 18k, I left it switched on. And then if we go times positive one, we can zero it. Cool, cool, cool. That works now. So how this works is... Both of these receive input at the same time. Um, this one says if red signal equals zero, output everything input count. And this other one says if no signal detected, output... Or if any signal detected, output red signal. That just goes directly here. Very, very straightforward. It's actually... A lot easier to read this way, except that the way those wires... Eh, this is fine, actually. I should probably do it this way. It's easier to read, I think. It's more clear that both of these receive the input at the same time. Alright, uh, let's busy ourselves for like 5 or 10 minutes, and then we'll confirm that all of our ships are inbound. Uh, coming back home, that is. Um, and then we'll reset that memory cell and we'll know it's accurate. A real-life example of turning it off and on again. Kind of cool example of how computers work and can stall. Indeed. 
Um, how's our cleansing of moss garden going? I wish we could get some stats on it. I guess we could see biter kills. We've actually been doing a lot more... Oh, these are asteroids. Get out of here, asteroids. Can I, like, right-click those to hide them? There we go. And apparently we've been killing, like, fallen trees? These are probably all the trees that count as, like, buildings. Those weird glitched ones. Player 3, Kek W? No. 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 It's, it's fine, don't worry about it. The tr train kun is not in the lead for kills. It's fine. Okay. Let's check our ships. Headed for Hagen Orbit. Headed for Hagen Orbit. Hagen Orbit. Destination Spiriso Orbit. 2 minutes 10. It's almost there, kind of. Wait. Oh, here it is. That's 2 minutes 10? I must have misread it. No, that is two minutes. These ships are a little bit slow. Why is it only at 70? Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Probably because... Asteroid density. There's probably an asteroid... I think we did confirm there was an asteroid field there that we can't see. Um, literally every other ship has destination as Hagen Orbit. So once this thing uh, picks up... Picks up its core fragments and is headed home. Then we'll be able to reset that memory cell. Uh, that's actually this shortcut, isn't it? Spiriso orbit. Uh, then we'll be able to reset that memory cell in a couple of minutes. And it will be correct. We don't have media ammo on the left side. This is true. Give me some more media ammo. That's all of it. Drop it off in here. Uh, and we need Logibots. Well, I need to split these RoboPort networks for one thing. We want 50 Logibots in each side. That's probably more than we need. Two reasons for that. Uh, one is we can have up to 50 Logibots in a robot network without them crashing. The other is we actually need to uh, prevent logistic bots from taking core fragments from like this container to this side of the spaceship because um, it's incredibly inefficient. Logistic bots are exponentially more powerful the shorter the distance that they're covering and it takes very very little distance for that to drop off dramatically why are we not putting ammo what happened to my ammo i put it in here right nani Let's search for storage ammo. There's more in here, and then there's a little bit in here. What the hell? Don't tell me the Logibots brought it up this way. That's kind of rude. 
Let's get rid of this. Just be left with the robot ports that are supposed to be here. They also stole our logi bots. How dare you. Uh, I'll put an extra 50 in here just to be safe. Have the ship connected still? Indeed. Let's grab our ammo back again. And drop it in as if it came from the spaceship. And we can move it across Logi Networks with inserters. Now we have ammo on both sides. The ammo is in the cannons. Some of it is, yes. Cool. Now, spaceships. Foenestra means it's going home via Foenestra. Which means, finally... Oh, I'll just double check one more time. Every ship is at home or going home. Fantastic. There isn't one in Exorion, for instance. Oh, there is. No, it's gone. It didn't refresh the map. Okay, finally. We reset the memory cell. Now we know the count is correct. And then double check all of these are connected. Fantastic. Okay. And we can permit launches again. So the first launch will be from the barrel core fragment uh, ship. Off it goes. And then we are launching... Huh, I thought we had three ships right. Did it already... Wait, what just happened? Did it launch three ships? That shouldn't have happened. Uh... I think... I think we know why we're getting bursts of extra ships going to certain places. Eat? It was only two, actually. But yeah, like, okay, what's supposed to happen is... Maybe it did happen that way, it was just fast. Race condition? No, so... So we receive something from one of the outposts, we put it on this memory cell that remembers the first thing it was told and nothing else until it gets a reset. Uh, when we receive a message that one of our ships is ready, we pass through that signal. And then if we are receiving, for instance, barrel signal, uh, we only pass through one of those signals. That's how, that's what anything, output anything does. It just picks one signal. Uh, so if it's the barrel ship, we're going to pass everything through here, and then that goes to this memory cell. Um, when does it reset this? I think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it should only... It should only reset the central memory cell when this thing actually launches. I'm reasonably sure there should have been no way that we sent two ships at, at once. And yet? Was it from the same dock? Could be lingering signals on the combinators. I don't think so. If that were the case, this one would still be full, which it's not. Or at least it wouldn't have been refueled or anything. I think it was refueled. Yeah, I don't know.
It, it should take a second for a ship to receive a launch signal anyway. Odd. From the way you described, only one outpost can request at a time. Yes. But many ships could be ready at a time. Yeah, but it only picks one ship to send a signal to. One uh, drop-off slash depot. Very odd. We've, st we've still got quite a ways to go to clear this planet. Oh, I forgot... Uh... It wouldn't necessarily... No, doesn't the energy beam... Yeah, the energy beam reveals stuff. So I don't think we're going to have the trouble of... Like, with artillery... Um, I don't think it's possible for some of these blotches on the map to be out of date, right? Pretty sure. Anyway, uh, let's take what we've still got on us... And head on over to us, Orb. Oh, that's um, that's not very specific. What if I say Dust Orb? Helidus Orbit. There we go. Maybe the intervals on the timer is too fast. Uh, that part doesn't really. It's like five ticks each for the timer for taking turns, but that's just five ticks each where they try to put something onto the memory cell. And the memory cell will ignore everything after the first thing it's told. And then we receive a sh signal that a ship is ready to launch. We pass everything through. Um... The ship won't launch until it's refueled and stuff, and it's been given space elevator cables or whatever, and the bots have stopped moving. So that's a few seconds. Once that happens, uh, we start a five second countdown. At the start of the five second countdown, we send a reset signal. That would have been a good opportunity to see what happens here. Uh, at the start of the five second countdown, we send a reset signal. And also... Uh, S... The, like the count adjustment for the central memory cell. So I guess in the few seconds before the ship launches in the few seconds that before the ship launches it would still be receiving ship ready signal yeah that might be double launching Maybe. How would I... I haven't seen this act as a problem before. Oh, it's only after five seconds that we actually launch the ship. And then when no ship is detected... As soon as we launch the ship, we reset this stuff. And then once we reset this stuff, we're no longer sending a ship launch signal. Yeah, it shouldn't be double launching because of that. But maybe I should make sure... This should say, like, ship launch signal greater than 300. So there isn't that gap. I mean, it still works either way. It might just be a little quirky with the occasional double send or something. Alright, uh, I want to do... I want to double this.
the amount of energy beaming we're doing to clear that planet. Because I am impatient. Oh yeah, I was also... How much scaffolding did we bring? We're almost empty. Never mind. I was going to consider... Oh, you can't even see that? Huh. Maybe I will put a bunch of scaffolding hidden behind the uh, solar panels. Well, in that case... Why is this here? On the, on the other hand, the plating is just so cheap now. It really is. It's not one of our... It's not any of our uh, materials that are relatively slow. How's Cable doing? Cable is doing pretty well, I think. Call me a Cable. Actually, that's kind of similar to how it has been. We should get some more um, Holmium. I think it's actually Holmium processing, not bringing the material in that I need to expand. If both ships are accounted for, then it's fine. Efficient, even? They are accounted for, yes. The only reason we've ever had incorrect counts is because I messed up with, like, missing a... missing a wire or something like that when we're setting up a new outpost. You'll note it's always, like, one outpost that has the count that's incorrect. What is that? Oh, it's a solar panel. And across. God damn it. Why are you getting it wrong all the... Uh... I still remember a bad joke I saw in cartoon form once, uh, like 700,000 years ago. It was like an angry wife yelling at a, her electrician husband. Why are you in so late? Like insulation. Get it? Ha uh ha. -huh. Ha uh ha -huh ha. -huh. It still hurts my brain. Oof. Jpeg. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Um, plating? I mean, not plating. Um, well, yes, plating as well. Let's go get back. Let's go get back? What is happening with my words brain? I'm not having an awful lot of trouble thinking clearly in some ways today, but words are... Words are very difficult. Name in base? Hell. Al... Aloc... Aloctonus? No worries. I'm just gonna use scaffolding to steal back some more plate this way. Sneaky. Two cords a day. How much wood would a woodchuck wood if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I don't know. I asked chat GPT, it disagreed. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. Name in the base. Let me just check that no one else is queued up for it as well. Your rewards. I'm pretty sure I had it clear. If anyone else wants a name and base, now's the time. Hey guys, yes, indeed. Oh, yeah, that's L. That's L. Alloc. Name in base. Okay. There we go. 
right of placement at the spell elevator. J Fort? J Fort. Uh, let's see. Whoops, whoops. And furthermore, whoops. Oh, and here comes the flood. Okay. Morpheus. What did we just research? Spaceship. Morpheus. And mark that off or I'm going to lose track. Jfort. Could I fit some more names? Probably. Uh, let's see. J Fort. Next is Kevin. The West Dude. West dude and uh Bricks and I am sock. Should we put them up the top? Whoops. Bricks. Where's the middle? Here it is. I am so perfect and I think that's it for the moment let me double check fantastic and a welcome welcome to everyone who just came in do eat indeed If we redeem it again, can we upgrade it to gold plating? Uh, sure, why not? Except then I'd have to go and put gold plating there. You missed a T in J Fort, did I? J Fort. I thought I copy pasted it. Oh, I probably like copy pasted it and dragged this across and thought, yep, that's it. J Fort. T -t there we go. Fantastic. Alright, where are we up to? Out of plating? Uh, may as well... Place... As much of this as possible. While we're here. Gold plating it is? Alright, I have to go back. I, I haven't got any gold plating. I, I, I don't even know how you... I think it's made with sulfur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Large gold text plate. Um, Back at the elevator, I think I just made a bunch of glass and dropped it in here. This won't be too much trouble, I guess. I guess. I'm gonna have to move this over, aren't I? How far apart are these usually? Uh, about this far apart. There we go. Gold plating, here we come. <laughs> Alright, but you're gonna have to wait till I get back. Um, grab some more solar panels. I might have to make a separate redeem for it if lots of people are gonna do it, because otherwise I'm gonna lose track. Okay. We don't have any more plating or scaffolding. Easily remedied. 
Uh, why am I going to Nalvis all bit? Again, all. Gold might look a bit Star Wars. This is true. I think 10k is fair for upgrade to gold. Um, I guess. It is a pretty long playthrough, so yeah, I suppose that makes sense. I don't know, thousands, like 5k is not a small amount. With the black background, gold and red would look great. Indeed. What happens if they have got, if they haven't got the first tier? Uh, we confiscate their points and throw them in the space gulag. Silent Storm, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Traveling in giant phallic objects through space? How is this phallic? Not even a little bit. Just blew 5k then? Oh no. Nah, I wouldn't go back on the people who just got in early. That attracts the... Deutsche crowd? Hey Dara, welcome, welcome. Wasn't meant like that. Oh no. If that's phallic to you, see a doctor. <laughs> what about our other ships? Uh, let's see. The original and best. Uh, the ship that we threw together with stolen parts. Extremely phallic. This little cutesy thing, obviously 10,000% phallic. And then our regular hauler ships. Uh, kind of a rectangle with a diagonal on the front. Obviously phallic. Alright, we'll be back at home in 70 seconds. Uh, how much longer? Well, oh, it's kind of getting there. Like, this area, the scorching has happened further out. That poor woman. <laughs> oh no. Empty Knoll. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. That was a lot of kidnapped bots, was it? When? Where? Speaking of bots. How much more superconductive cable do we have by now? Uh-oh, the input is slow. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, I think... I think we need to spend some time expanding our processing for Holmanite core fragments. Um, and I kind of want to make, uh, I kind of want to make a new design for that as well. Because the old one, where's Holmanite? Metals? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basic Holmium plate plus ingot. Basic Holmium ingot. I think I... Hmm. What is this? I don't remember this. It's kind of like a copy-paste from... Iron or Copper. Just make sure you don't auto-land auto so you don't disappear into the void again. Yeah, we're in the construction ship and it's already landed, so it's fine. I'll also save it, just to be sure. Just had to Google phallic. How did I not know? Um, good question. Holmium powder plus pyroflux. Um, plus sand. Sand is here. That's actually... 
a build I would... or something like a build I would like to use. As opposed to this thing. Which, the more I look at it, the more I don't like it. Just way too many steps in one block, so if we change the productivity bonuses, um, we change the ratios. It's also just kind of a mess to look at. There's a lot going on, and it's kind of hard to follow. Let's remind ourselves. We have to start by crushing Holmanite. When we crush Hol Holmanite, we get crushed Holmanite. Of course. Here we need uh, ion beads, crushed Holmanite, and hydrogen chloride. And we get these weird little um, holmium chloride thingies. We need very, very, very few machines to convert that to powder but also some copper cable, for some reason. It may be a mess, but it got us started, indeed. Uh, I remember agonizing over putting beads into the rail network or not. There's like... Improved pollution filter, we probably won't be using that. Um, blue beads to make holmium. Blue and red beads to make naquium. Maybe I should just put beads in the rail network. Even if that's all it is. Because it'll make it that much more convenient when, when, when we're making nac. It stacks to 200 as well, so not many train trips. Yeah, no, that sounds, uh, sounds like a good idea. Okay, well, that means we've got that many more steps to do. Uh, from scratch here. But I think I do want to start with something like this. That's as many as we can fit under beacon. Used this shape before. Trains are quick enough, probably don't need to worry about beads like last time, indeed. Um, so this is Holmium Powder Blast Pyroflux. Easy peasy. And then, I think it's probably not unreasonable to have uh, the ingots directly next door. Because we can very easily... I don't think we can prod this even. Yeah. So we can easily adjust, like speed modules or whatever over here, or the number of machines. There's lots of extra space. I don't see that as particularly um, foreboding when we upgrade to higher tier modules. A lot of these builds were pre-modules, indeed. So how fast... what's our ratio here? We are extremely net negative on molten holmium. How much makes an ingot? I would kind of like to have a big storage. 250, so uh, 800 ingots from one huge storage tank as opposed to stack size, stack size 50. It's like 16 stacks in one huge storage tank. I think we'll skip the storage tank. Missing prods on the left. That's true. 
Alright, um, that's actually not the right number of efficiency modules. I Oh, we don't have power. Probably. Let's get rid of the old power poles. And then... Plus 400% power consumption. Really? Oh, it's because... It's, yeah, we don't have enough power. Alright. Plus 10%. How about minus 80? How fast is this? Only 268 per second. That's like one ingot. Maybe I should just... You know what? I think I will. I, 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 I'm I definitely going to just do an entire block for this. Keep it simple. And we get better scaling. And... We don't really need this thing. Kill all the belts, actually. How fast is this individually? 1.6 holmium powder f per second? I dare say... We can calm down a little bit on the stack inserters. And turn the red belt into blue. Although that's probably super gratuitous. It definitely is. But blue belt is like free at this point. I don't love that bit of pipe. I definitely don't love that bit of pipe. Can we not do better? Surely. How much fluid do we consume? 7.68 per second across the entire thing. I don't think we have to worry about the shape of the pipes very much. And... Only 38.4 holmium powder per second. Old T-Hacks was not up to current T-Hack standards, indeed. Alright, so these are connected, and these are connected, and these are connected. I think that looks a bit tidier. I don't mind this too much. And we don't have to worry about unloading the fluids super fast either. Alright. Provide stack threshold 100, or request rather. Uh, we're not going to need enriched iron. So what is it? Holmium powder? Couple of train loads, 10k. And 100k pyroflux. Pretty much my standard for requesting fluid. We request more at 40k, but this is really slow, so it's not really going to matter. Um, and these are only as far apart as they are because we had room for the old beacons between these. So it had more of an upgrade path. So we could probably do better there. Especially considering we're only outputting a fluid. Let's bring this in. And does that actually mean we can fit more machines? Uh, maybe. Yeah, we definitely... Probably can. 
I think we'll make it a little bit taller and thinner. And then... This can go in a little bit. We still get just as many uh, machines here, but maybe, just maybe, I don't think we can like fit these like this actually. Not in a half block. Magic? How do magnets work? Indeed. Uh, well that didn't really accomplish anything, did it? Made it a little less asymmet a little bit less symmetrical, I guess. I don't hate this though. I could put these even closer together if I made it taller still and did the fluid outputs on the sides like that. I don't want to do that though. Yeah, once again, if I'd made the be if I'd made these blocks a little bit bigger. We could squeeze in significantly more. Seven per row should not be a problem. Seven per row. Do you mean per column? Oh. Hmm. Maybe. Mm. So if we go down a bit more. How far down can we go? While still being in the beacon. Okay. Like that. And like that. And... Oh. Well, that's an improvement. Assuming we can fit it, but I think we can. Yeah, I, I think we can definitely manage that. And... Some long out. Well, let's do it closer to the middle. Oh, the pipes might be a problem. I think I know what to do, though. Eight, even, indeed. Does this one have room for input? Uh, yes. Yes, it does. Just barely. Okie dokie. This is going to be a much better build. I'm, I'm liking it already. I mean, it's going to be a set of builds to make Holmium happen, but it'll be worth it. We'll get rid of the old mess. We'll have more throughput. Holmium cables have become way too important. Right, so individually, less than two per second. And then, well, I can do this however I like. One, two, three, I think 
I'll do the middle one like that. Maybe I should use some space pipe here. Might be a bit cleaner looking. Uh, this is five tiles, so I could do this, but I think that's going to look tacky. Especially when it doesn't line up in the middle. Uh, correction, it's six tiles. No, it's not. It's five tiles. If I do five, they have to be offset a little bit, and then when we get to the middle, it doesn't work out. You know what? Screw it. I'm sure having a few extra pieces of pie part gonna drop UPS to two. Right. So we need to bring in uh, pyroflux from the outside at the middle, which means like this. That should all be connected. Let's find out. Uh, I didn't connect the middle. That seems to work. I'm not dying, am I? No, I'm in the spaceship. I don't need life support here. Okay. So then I could be a bit lazy here and just push all of the powder this way. Oh, I forgot it has to go to the outside as well. Uh, I could snake it all the way through, just for something different. You know what, this could go here. And that could actually go there. One belt enough? Yes, definitely. Uh, at full speed, we need 51.2. Uh, we'll just have to use... We could use a green belt, but uh, I'm not bothering. Actually, I think we do have green belt. We have a little bit of green belt, but no, we'll just go straight to purple. Belt bottom left, I know, I know. Um, Alright, so we're just gonna push everything through... Let's do an upgrade planner. Oh god. I thought I had an upgrade planner. Oh no. I should make a blueprint book for this, maybe. Uh, blue belt. Blue belt. Blue belt. Blue belt. Turns into purple. 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 No more blue belts. Unfair, you've made me take a YouTube rabbit hole? <laughs> I saw a very interesting... Uh, well, to be honest, the thumbnail was as interesting as anything else. Um, someone was describing what orbits would look like. Like, the, the absolute madness of what the orbits would look like if... Flat Earth. That looks kind of cool, I like it. 
All right, so we only have one output. That is fluid. We're only ever going to need one train to pick up. Uh, and we're not actually going to need these. And... I did say that one huge storage tank was only 80... Uh, 80 ingots? Don't the ingots stack to like 50? No, no, no. I thought... Oh, it was 800 ingots. I th think I said it was 16 stacks. Yeah. That's not too bad. I mean, it's still, you know... Less than a sixth of a train load of ingots. But ingots represent a huge density of resources, so I'm not too worried about that. Alright. And then... Like this. Seems good. Oh, don't tell me. Can't reach with the wire. I don't want to do an arbitrary uh, like power pole to make this work, so I'll do arbitrary tanks. Because that's how we roll. I can't make any of these line up naturally. I could just move this over a little bit, actually. That's probably fine. That is probably a fine. Two tiles up. Yeah, how about here? And then both of these just go to the middle. Oh, that's perfect. That's beautiful. Das ist sehr gut. We don't need to provide stack threshold. Provide threshold 60k. Seems good to me. Short trains or long trains are fine. And that's it. And since we want to speed things up a lot right now... I guess I'll do another drop-off on this side, since we did end up with 51 holmium powder per second required. But I don't think we need a second drop-off for pyroflux. Input belt and pipe need realigning, indeed. Where's the pipe? I don't think this even was connected a minute ago. That looks pretty tidy. That is pretty good. Oh, wait, even better. We can go straight from the middle container. Now, I want to copy-paste flip, but I can't because it won't let us flip with these machines. Even though, for all intents and purposes, they are symmetrical here. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's right. And then we'll do the same thing with the belts over yonder. Fantastic. Don't forget the wires. Okay. 
And I'm pretty sure that's almost everything. For me, um... Uh, you know what? I'm better... I'm gonna take a wild guess and say... Molten Holmium doesn't have anywhere else to go except for into Holmium ingots. But I'll do another block for those anyway. Remove the... Upper underground pipe from the input to make future T hacks happy. Upper underground pipe from the input. Oh, this one. Wait, where is it? What? I was going to do this. The pyroflux. Upper underground pipe. Oh, this one? Except this needs to go over here. By the train station. By the power of Grayskull? Oh, this one. I see. Fantastic. Alright, let's do some test inputs. And... You know, whenever I look at the purple belts, they seem to be going backward. Call me, I mean, Pyroflux. Should see all of those lighting up in a moment. I'm surprised how long it's taking for some of them to light up, but maybe I shouldn't. They, the machines are probably really greedy. Yeah, look at this. We need 50 Holmium. It's taking an extra 100 in. That's why. So it's going to take a little while for the whole thing to be saturated just because of that. Also, the long arms are really struggling to take from this uh, super fast belt. But we know it's going to saturate. The belt can do 90 per second. We need 51 per second. I don't know, maybe I should do some superior long inserters here. No, they're not actually struggling that much. They kind of looked more like they were struggling. Full belts are trippy, quite trippy. Seems like they are going the wrong way. Yeah. We've got purple stuff on purple belts as well. Uh, but yeah, it seems like all of these machines are, to the surprise of no one, 75 second crafting time. Damn. Uh, they're all staying lit up. Fantastic. Maybe I should just, like... How, how, how ridiculous do we want to be with storage? Are these going to happen to line up? No. I'll just do it like this. Except I would... I should put in a pump. Pump. Pump, pump, pump. There we go. So that is 32, 64, 128 stacks of Holmium ingots worth of Molten Holmium that can accumulate here. Yes to Ridiculous, indeed. Alright, um, so this drop-off is correct, actually. And this one is the same, except we're not asking for... Pyroflux. Cool, cool, cool. So that is one of the easiest steps uh, in the Holmium process complete. 
I'll blueprint that. Molten holmium. And of course, we can upgrade the modules with no concern as to ratios in the future. Much better. Was there ingots? Uh, is there ingots in the station name? Yes. Oh, good point. God damn it. God damn it. This is just going to be making molten. Alright. Molten holmium. Is there room for four train loading pumps? Uh, maybe? Yes, definitely. I wouldn't argue that it's necessary, but it certainly doesn't hurt. How long does it take to get a train load? If the whole block is going full speed, um... Only 83.71 seconds, actually. 1.4 minutes. That actually seems pretty good to me. There's room for six pumps. I think the third pump doesn't actually connect, does it? Oh. I could have sworn I've tried three pumps before and it didn't do this. Well, that's going to load pretty quickly. I like how um, just high, high pr uh, huge storage tanks just like this in a row line up perfectly for that as well. Three is max, indeed. Okay. Uh, once more with feeling. Blueprint. Hold me, um... Molten. And snap to grid. Cool. So that is one step. with our new Holmium. So before we have Holmium powder, we need radiation facility. Isn't this the thing that we need just like one of? Centrifuge. Holmium powder. And prod it. And we also need holmium. Uh, we need copper cable. That's so weird. So how fast is one of these by itself? Seven powder per second. Okay. Let's put down... Default block. I probably will still have uh, the centrifuges at the end of a different production block because I'm pretty sure we only need a, a few of them. Uh, so what happens to make holmium chloride? And does it go into anything else ever? It does not. Holmium chloride is made in a chemical plant. Oh, do we have advanced chemical plants? 
Our research is finished. We do not have advanced chemical plants. We need bio 2 for that. Uh, let me check one thing first. I think we get more prod modules out of this. Better ratios. For our input. As well as better speed, better UPS. Crafting speed 8 as opposed to 1. Damn. Um, also, there's three inputs. I wonder what how that works with, like... Recipes that normally require two fluid inputs. I guess it's just one... One of them has two inputs? Hmm. What about, like, sulfur, for example? Yeah, water, water, petroleum. Okay. Speaking of which, I haven't done those uh, gold text plates yet. Let's get that done real quick. Three is max, I think. Quad build, here we go. Uh, bio two, I need like one, two, I need six more tech cards for bio two. And then I need to do the, um, uh, the catalog build. I've already got somewhere up here. Uh, I've already got the absolute basics for making insight, at least. But suffice to say, I've been putting off bio for a long time. What was I coming here for? Oh yeah, gold, as in sulfur. Let me just steal a bunch of sulfur. Should have emptied my inventory first. And then... don't tell me I don't even have a space assembly plant. Um, can I handcraft these? Probably, yeah. How fast can we handcraft them? Pretty damn quickly. All right. It's one to one though, but the stack size doubles. We'll come back to that. Actually, you just shove a bunch of these in here already. Alright, back to the edit. I kinda really do want to set it up with advanced chemical plants. We could just do it with the advanced chemical plants and put in a bunch of crappy chemical plants temporarily. Once we actually build the thing. Sounds simple enough. Oh no. Uh, beacon, efficiency, plus speed, plus power. We've got power. What the hell? Oh, it's not under the beacon. Minus 80%. Minus 70%. Perfect. Okay, tentatively, let's say we do this. Actually, I kind of want to do inputs on the inside if I can.
and it's beads and crushed fulminate. I'm going to do the beads somewhere else, I think. Oops. Oh, but I wanted to I wanted to squeeze in the centrifuge here if I can. So let's say we had this much. As much as we can fit in a half block reasonably. Or easily. Maybe we could do this as well. Probably not. We need physical in, physical out. Fluid in, fluid out. Uh how fast is this? Thirty one point six chloride per second. And if we get max productivity bonus out of this, uh, under the same beacon that is. This looks like a job for a mini beacon, but unfortunately mini beacons um, are just way too deep. Compact beacon. Wait. No, they're not. I could have sworn... Oh, is this it? Compact Beacon 2. Huh. Compact Beacon 2 requires Energy 4 and Deep Space 2. But... There's, a, there's two tiers of them. Hot Compact... Beacon. We could do this right now. Okay. Sure. Let's maybe consider using it. Compact beacon. How many modules is this? Ten. Uh, I think the tier two has as many slots as a wide area beacon. And... No? They're both ten. I could have sworn... If that dog will ever stop barking... <sighs> Am I gonna have to cook myself to death in a soundproof room? Is that how it is? <sighs> um... Yeah, I thought these went up to fifteen. Oh, I think we get, like, a better percentage out of them. 100% transmission efficiency. And 75. Versus 50%. Yeah, so... So if we put the same types of modules in... Well, it's not going to be the same type of modules. Bring the dog inside... Can't hear dog. Okay, I'm glad. Uh, the dog's not mine. It's actually like two houses away. It's loud enough to make itself everyone's problem in the entire neighborhood. If you're hot, think how much better you'll feel with a doggo on your lap. Oh... Um, so we can do a basic compact beacon, right? We will be able to. It takes nothing we don't already have. So how, how about if we put some of these down here? It's so small though, I don't think we can even fit enough around it. Probably, probably end up just putting these here anyway. Alright, so what's our ratio? We need 31.6. Oh, we need like two of these. Literally two. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. I wonder if we could even reshape this a bit. I could make it wider. 
We've got a lot of, like, horizontal space we're not using. And we could put two of these, maybe like this. That should have a pretty good ratio. Huh? Did I... Oh, we need four. No, I thought we... What? 31.6 holmium chloride per second. Oh, I was looking at how much this produces, not what it consumes. Derp. God damn it, we need slightly more than four. 15.84 per second. I'll do three. I really don't want a bottleneck on this part. So, something like that, and maybe, well, we've got plenty of room here. We need to recycle crushed holmanite. We need to recycle any and iron exchange beads. It's easiest to do that with a swap chest, but it's going to make it hard to put in chemical plants temporarily. Maybe I should just rush to bio 2. Don't we need vitamelange for even bio 1? Oh my god, so many things. Bio... Uh, catalog. Biocombustion doesn't... Probably doesn't need vitamelange. Bioculture does need vitamelange, yes. We need bit for bio one. Okay. Everything cool is locked behind too much stuff. All right, um, let's pretend we have these, though. Have input up here. Two solids, no, two, f yeah, two solids, one fluid. Rate of consumption of fluid is... Pretty slow. We can just do it like this. And then... Is that actually max distance? No. tidy enough. Uh, and then we need... how much? Uh, Twenty-four per... slightly more than half of a blue belt on each side. That's a little bit annoying. We'll do purple belt, because why not? Because we are throwing away all semblance of restraint. How fast are these individually? Eight per second between the two resources. Let's just go straight to superior inserters. If we're doing purple belt, why the hell not? And like this.
Twitch belt? Twitch belt? What? Twitch belt. It's because it's purple? Um, so I'll probably just do a personal swap chest for each of these. Easier than doing a recycle with belt. Alternatively, I could just send everything back up to the main storage up here. But then we have to, like, rebalance between the two of them and... Nah, it's fine. Um, so we're going to do a two by two chest. Do we have room down here? We could do it over this way. Yeah, that'll be fine. That will be fine. You could also do it over here, I guess. One, two, three. I kind of like that better, actually. I imagine the recycling rate... 8 per second out. Uh... It's only the ion beads. No, it's not. It's everything but the uh, holmium chloride. Sixteen per second out. Yeah, no, these should probably be superior. Superior filter in SETA. You know what, just, just, just go all out with all of this. Let me put my filters on this first. Uh, instead of saying filters blacklist, a holmium chloride, I'll just say whitelist beads and crushed. Just so it's a bit clearer what they're doing at a glance. Wait, what? What? There we go. And we probably don't need any fancy circuitry for that. Probably. And then for output, we've just, we've basically on this side just got uh, holmium chloride and dirty holmium water. One, two, three, four, five, six. And some filter output. Only 2.6 per second. Well, let's just do a... I was going to say do a stack filter inserter, but since we're bringing these here, let's just use them. Holmium chloride. Cool, cool, cool. What's our max rate from that? Only 15. I'm sure a blue belt will be fast enough even if and when we go for like tier 9s here. Yeah, that'll be fine. 
to. Actually, let's do it like this. So even if the ratio gets warped by upgrading prod modules and stuff, we can easily just adjust the ratio there. There's plenty of room either way. And then... Like this. And like this. Alright, I think it might be time for test inputs. Holmium... Uh, sorry, hydrogen chloride. Fantastic. And then... Uh, any and iron beads and crushed hulmanite. Don't forget the green wire. Red wire like this. Set filters blacklist. Shift right click, shift left. I forgot the filters. I forgot the filters. Um, let's do the beads on this side. Brushed fulminate, like so, and delete and put back. Oh, maybe the other way around. Since this is all about the Holmanite. And if we do have to do any circuit magic, um... We can literally just change these to filters and do a wire connection right like that. Uh, we need to do our fluid output. Along with solid output for that matter. Oh, I forgot. Uh, crap. That's going to be easy to deal with, actually. I forgot copper cable. Do we have... Copper cable... I don't think we have copper cable as like one big thing in the rail network somewhere. No. And I don't think we need it still. Because... We should be able to fit more than enough. Copper cable... Production right here. How fast is this? 8.4 per second versus 26. I think we'll be fine. Copper plate. Copper plate. Uh, we will need 640. That's six train loads. We could do up to two train loads of each resource. I think that'll be fine. Especially since we barely need any copper. Uh, yeah, that is massively positive. On copper cable. Fantastic. Superior long inserters. Go burr. And probably a 
basically just bring this over like this. That's going to look really kind of weird. How about this then? Even worse? That kind of gets the job done and doesn't look too tacky, I think. Alright, finally, that is Holmium Powder. Now then. Are we ever going to have short trains pick that up? I don't think so. Holmium Powder goes into... Uh, it goes into both ingots and molten Holmium. Isn't... Isn't it just a worse recipe if it goes straight into ingots? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Um, but yeah. I'll just do this the easy way. Actually, not quite like that. Because I want the fluid output like so. Fantastic. And we'll set the provide stack threshold at like 110. Just so that that doesn't add up to 100 stacks and then we get a few of it stuck in here. This actually needs to be a high priority pickup because we're getting rid of dirty holmium water. Otherwise, things will get stuck. And I believe that is our blueprint. It's nice not having to deal with scaffolding. Okay. So, blueprint that. It's actually turned out to be a pretty neat build. We need to outsource ion beads um, and crush holmanite. I'll probably end up stealing from Iridium for crushed. Train stop names? God. Okay. Uh, this is powder. And dirty water. God. Dag. Nab it. Damn it. Dirty holmium water and holmium powder. Holmium powder. Dirty holmium water. Active provider. And this one is requesting... Uh, I can't see it anymore. Beads? What do they stack to? 200, 100... Don't we go through the beads kind of slowly? Compared to their stack size, 48 per second, that's a quarter of a stack. So like, one and a half stacks should be fine. Yeah. We'd have seven minutes to go through a whole train load. Zerionium, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we'll go 1.5 train loads of that. Um, 
Holmium. Crushed Holmium is four times worse because it's the same consumption rate but with a stack size of 50. So we got 1.5 train loads maximum in here. We'll probably go for 1.5 train loads of copper plate, if that. So that's three train loads. Um, that leaves three train loads. Yeah, let's just set it to two train loads for the crushed hemocyte. Or holmanite, rather. Uh, 50, 100... Times two. And don't forget... Hundred K Holmium Chloride. Fantastic. Alright, I think that is we haven't named it yet. Feed Crushed and Up a plate. Questa goes into advanced chemical plant and out comes Holmium powder. That's all connected. Seems good. Blueprint. Chromium powder. That is actually looking a lot neater than the equivalent that we had before. I think I forgot to remove cheat items. Nope, we are good. Fantastic. So now we need crushed hormonite, which um, I think is probably going to look like this. Probably. Anytime you're ready. There we go. So let's see. What the? Crush inserter. Why would I do that? Get out of here. Alright, crushed hormonate. Um, it's the same thing, but it doesn't output sand. Hormonite makes crushed hormonate and stone. Iridite makes crushed iridite and sand, and it also recycles iridite. So this is just simpler. but we can mostly borrow from the layout. Stone. And... I don't suppose we're going to end up with a similar ratio. What's our rate here? 22... Uh, it consumes 33.6 Holmanite per second. 33.6. Uh, this thing consumes... 33.6 per second. 
makes 33.264. It makes less. But I'm wondering if this is about one block of four fragment processing, just like we had here. Fifty point six six eight iridite per second. Wait, why did I ratio this this way? I know I had a reason. It wasn't that long ago. Oh, this is a net rate. I, I misread it. 50.4 iridite per second. Okay. Versus... Uh, 33.264. Where was I reading 33.6 from that it was the same? Oh, that's the... No? The net... The positive half of the iridite... The, the iridite that gets recycled happens to be 33.6 per second. Huh. That's weird. Alright, so this ratio has probably got nothing to do with anything. Um, Holmium... Core fragment processing... One full block is 50.688 carbonite per second. 50.688. How many of these would we need to approximately keep up with that? 64. Uh, well, we certainly can't fit that in one block. So let's just fit as much as we can. So we're outputting crushed hormonite. Oh, there's no recycling here. You know what? It's going to be easier if I just remove this. Because I'm going to confuse myself. Okay. Individually, quite slow. We need uh, 9.6. That is an unusual way of squeezing these in. Uh, less than one red belt of Holmanite input on each side. And like a yellow belt of output in total. So we can just do one blue belt all the way through, I'm pretty sure. You know what? Just, just do it like this. And... Gonna need some long arms. Let's double check they're fast enough. They're definitely fast enough. The old long arm inserter. And then. Didn't this go back up this way? I think it did.
That looks kind of weird. Definitely done this the wrong way. Isn't it snaked back from the middle? Oh. Oh, these two go here and then over here. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, I think this is probably not the worst way to do things, this part. We've still got that there, actually. So, this should be output. Right? Seems good. That one's going to be a problem. doing okay and then You are in the way. How dare you. And output on this side. Okay. What am I missing? Output, output. And just mirror for the opposite side. That should be right. Uh, and we need filters to be correct. Instead of sand, we're looking for stone. And instead of crushed, we're looking for crushed. Set our station names. And let's do some test input. Whoops. Oh yeah, doesn't this have a stack size of 20? So if possible, we should build it directly south of poor fragment processing, so we can just dump it straight in here. Okay, away we go. Why are they not... Because there's no... Wait, what? Something's busted here. Oh, oh, there's no power, probably. There we go. Remember when you were quite short on stone? Feels long ago? Yes. Long ago in the before time. 
That doesn't seem too bad. Alright, so we are requesting... Holmanite. Holmanite. Holmanite, there we go. And it's crushed and stone that comes out. Stone. Fantastic. That all seems to be working. It's already saturated. No? What's busted? What? What? Why is there Holmanite in here? Because I am a derp. Okay then. Good to know. So this should probably... Do I swap the inserters around or... I know, I know. Something like that. And I'm gonna have to... Wait, did I just mess that up again? No. No, I need to move this. Except that doesn't feel right, because... Didn't we copy it from here? Yeah, we did. The output was on this... Oh, I see. Alright. So the output was on that side. It's just the bit down the bottom that needs changing. Uh, and the inserters. Yeah. Alright, so this side is output. Yes. Output. Output. Input. Really? Brain, whose side are you on? Okay. Let's try that. And we'll do something or other else. Over here. Copy, paste, flip. Remove everything. Put it back. See how it goes. That's uh, looking a little better. Are we good? I think so. We don't even have to wait for new technology to build this one. Alright. Remove any cheat inputs. Blueprint. Wait, how often would we go through... 
One train load. Hormonite stacks to 20, right? Once every 20.83 seconds. Well, good thing we have fast trains. Blueprint. I said blueprint, actually. Crushed Hormonite. Snap to grid. Did we get rid of the cheat stuff? I think so. 8625 one. 8625 one. And our new production chain creeps towards completion. I believe we've already got a block uh, processing Hormonite core fragments that's chockers. It's quite full. Fantastic. So, yeah. Is that everything? I haven't done the ion beads in another block somewhere. Should be pretty straightforward. I'm Deshaun. Wonderbar. Okay. Uh, beads, you say. And I'm guessing we can make those in an advanced chemical plant. Oh, the temptation is large. Let's do it. Let's use Advanced Chemical Plant. And I still need to figure out how I'm going to squeeze in regular chemical plants as a temporary measure here. That's actually kind of a problem. How do you switch so quickly between the map editor and the game? Uh, the shortcut control E as if you're going in and out of editor mode and if you have the mod called editor extensions under mod settings per player and editor extensions you want the testing lab switched on simple as that okay beads and it is blue beads. Yes. Prod modules. Which are always getting removed because when I switch back my inventory gets smaller. Um, two solids and also steam in. Hmm. Two solids, two fluids in. Okay. How about something like this? I wouldn't be able to do it like that because we can't line up the nitro. Thank you, you're welcome. No worries whatsoever. Um, so we're probably going to do steam on the spot. It's steam of any temperature. So we're going to do the coldest steam we can in an electric boiler. We'll just bring water via, via train. Minimum consumption on this is 167 kilowatts. 100 degree steam. And we also need... Uh, 
was it called? Nitric acid. Might move this in a little bit. Close to the center. Might make things a bit easier. Maybe not. How much steam do we need? Only 10.8 per second. And this can do 105. Alright, we're good. Um, I'll just do the steam input like so. But we'll have it continue over this way. That might be a little bit inconvenient, actually. Why don't we do it like this? That's even easier. And then realize... That we might want to move this because of the nitro input, nitric acid. I mean, I could put this just about anywhere. It's probably fine, actually. Yeah, this is... I don't mind this at all. We've got plenty of room. What the... What am I doing? Okay. Something like that. Does the boiler not get affected by the beacon? I don't believe so. Maybe it does. 105 per second. It does not. But we barely need any steam, so it doesn't matter. 10.8 steam per second versus Energy? What about energy? We'll effectively be consuming like uh, half a megawatt of electric for the, to make the steam from the electric boiler. Boiler doesn't support modules, so it shouldn't be affected by beacon as well. Yeah, it's not. Oh, um, electricity. That might be a thing. It's still not affected by it, but maybe my rate here is 48 steam per second. It's still well below how much this one boiler can make. Okay. Um, I might put this here for the symmetry of... that's backward. Never mind. Never mind. And then we just need... Oh, how much do we need? Uh, only 4.8 per second. Nice and slow. Plastic and cryonite rods. Actually, let me swap those around. Uh, 
Oh, that's... That figures. Where do I want to put this? How about here? That's not too bad. Underground on steam pipe ends? Underground on steam pipe ends. Do you mean this? Oh, how much input do we need for solids? Not hardly anything. 0.8 per second each. Alright. Let's do some test input. Set filters blacklist. Uh, infinity chest. Shift right, shift left. Fantastic. And we need steam. And nitric acid. Fantastic. And that only output speeds. There's no shenanigans. How fast is it? 126 per second. Holy crap. Uh, do you think this will be enough? I think this will probably be enough. Or whatever we need. I just have this strong intuition that we won't need to make another build for this. 63. Alright, purple belts it is. Um, and maybe I should be doing like double purple belts. Purple belt can do 90. Yeah. So I need to use both sides of it. Hmm. Individually. 10.5 per second. You know what? I'm just going to use some superiors. And I might, I think we might have a bit of a fucky wucky if, if I don't do it this way. Superior in Sutta. And I could put splitters to make sure they use both sides, but I could also just do this. Oh, I forgot about how weird inserters can be putting stuff on belts. Uh, it doesn't seem to be having any trouble keeping up, though. Seems to be fine. Okay. That's pretty quick. Um, and there's no fluid output. And 
what are we requesting here? Nitric acid. Water. Uh, crinite rods. And plastic. Does it stack to? 100. 100. Red beads in the same build? In the same build? What? Uh, no, but I think it's going to be shaped the same way. Oh, do you mean on the other side of the block? Plastic, vulcanite, input, red bead, output, steam. Uh, it kind of swapped around the fluid inputs, but that's okay. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think we could do just a mirror. Or red only, I mean beads. Bead. Why not, indeed. Great part is you can build the other beads next to it, yes. Okay. Paste flip. I can't flip it. No. Oh, I probably didn't even want to flip that. We'll see. I think, um, that should be fine. This part will be flipped. And then this part will basically be the same. Except, hey, steam lines up. Fantastic. Red, no, wait, it's not going to, is it? Steam is in the wrong place now. Tringe. Um, maybe like this. No, I could just leave this here like I had it. Just move these a little bit. And then... Sulfuric acid. Like this. Sulfuric acid. Fantastic. Could you please check my previous message? Uh, hello? When using your local depot, I got the depot built and the trains go to it, but they never lose their empty condition. And the lights never turn blue. Empty condition? They shouldn't have an empty condition when they're going back to the depot. Like, by the time they're going back to the depot... They're at the end of a schedule, and then as soon as they get there, it just deletes the schedule. I have no idea. The train blueprints you have in your book have an empty... empty condition. Train blueprints... 
Are you talking about the vanilla scheduled stuff or LTN depots? LCCL depot. Never lose that empty condition. I gather from saying the light never turns blue, you mean it's using LTN. What are we looking for here? Plastic and vulcanite. Might be for a different version of SE. Yeah, I have no idea. Oh, this is working already. Did I miss anything? More than likely. Don't forget red wire from logistic train stop output. Uh, and this needs to be set to whichever fluid. Less than zero. I guess I could link these two. Oh, yuck, they barely don't reach. Screw it. It's a fine. Although, we could have linked the steam. And we could have just not had two electric boilers. Ah, uh, whatever. It's fine. Actually, I've got a better idea. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. That that doesn't reach. Whatever. Water... Through here. Because we should have enough steam to support both of those. 96 per second, that's perfect. That is wunderbar. Okay. Is that our build? Good now. I think so. Requests up here need to change. Need to name the stations as well. Uh, this will be 22k Vulcanite blocks. And sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid. Everything else is going to stay the same. This is going to be uh, water, sulfuric acid, plastic, vulcanite block, goes into advanced chemical plant, out comes beads, Fantastic. Same thing here, but blue beads. Nitric. And cryonite. Okay, that's looking pretty damn neat. I Tai, can you place a cargo rocket silo in the lab environment? I cannot, no. Um, anything that would let us interact with other surfaces is a no-go. Although we might be able to do signal transmitters and receivers. Yeah, we can. But uh, 
Anything that lets us move items between... Or energy beam stuff as well, I don't think it'll let us place. Yeah, you get the idea. Alright, so that's our build. I'm really... Really incentivized to get Bio 2 now. I really want those advanced chemical plants. That's one of the things I've I really disliked a lot, actually, in the late game, is uh, vanilla chemical plants. Too small, only three prod modules. Not very fast. Bonk? Why are we bonking? Get the same error message? Right side pump setting needs to be set. God damn it. Okay, are we good? Pumps on the right side, indeed. Uh... Yeah, that's probably fine. Beads and beads. You know, I'm honestly having trouble remembering... I think it was reality. It, w it was either reality or a Grand Theft Auto uh, radio station thing. Just this horrible radio ad that would keep saying beads and beads. I think it was, the, I think it was the real thing. It will haunt my nightmares until I, until the day I die. Solar is on space rails, I believe. What? Wasn't there solar between tracks and not wind? Yes, yes. That's uh, space. Alright, I am a little fatigued at this point. Let me just check things are working still. I presume, since we're always saturated on core fragments now, that ingots and such have been doing okay for a while. Beryllium ingot dropped down a bit. That's a little bit concerning. Um, but it looks like it's steady. Oh, I think I remember setting something up so that we'd have a temporary boost. Okay. Well, it seems to be working anyway. Should probably check all my outposts have spell elevator cables and stuff as well. 1.4k seems good. Alright, let me save here. Take a short break. And I just remembered how long words on stream took to load the last couple of days. Looks like it's doing better now. Nope. I should have left it open from before. I just opened it early. What the heck is party mode? Oh god. It's loading the image from words on stream like literally like 56k modem days I can see the image coming down bit by bit as long as it's responsive enough once we actually get it going uh, maybe I should give it a minute <laughs> jeez spellevator cable is saturated as hell fantastic 
girders are not saturated. That is not fantastic. Um, heavy bearings are not saturated. I thought we were doing okay for iridium ingots this whole time. We are. We just started consuming more, probably. I hope it's not what I think it is. Did I get too greedy? Where's consumption? That's quite the spike. No, I, I don't think that's it. Hmm. Why are we behind on Iridium all of a sudden? Maybe we just need more processing. Oh, whatever the case. Um, it's loaded. Let's fire this thing up so I can take a little break. Do some LTN screensaver. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
nicely done. One more and we'll get back to SEK2. Okay, how'd we do? Fantastic. Let's continue with space exploration. As soon as I can turn this off, there we go. And let me just drop off these uh, golden text plates. Okay, so who was it that uh, was looking for a name in gold? Fraser K? Um, Viking? And Cavern. Alright, but from now on, no, no more gold plating today. I'll add a reward. Um, I'll figure something out to do plating. I kind of want to keep this color scheme at the space elevator though. Can we do the gold plating? Mm, I don't think it's going to work down here. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Whoa, that's uh, that kind of stands out. It's not that bad though actually. Like, it doesn't Throw everything else off. Alright, so... Viking Gamer. No. And then we've got... Fraser K and Kevin D. Okay, well, I'll just adjust Kevin's name down here. Oh, it doesn't work that way. Alright, get out of here. There we go. You are Star Wars, indeed. That's odd. Have you tried turning up the message level to see if there's maybe some logs indicating? Oh, right, I see. There should be a in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> um, who else have I done? Evan and 
and Fraser K. Do we have Fraser K's name here already? We do. Okay. Fraser K. What the heck was that? Cannot reach? Bloody hell. Perfect. Fantastic. Alright, let's drop off these gold text plates. Made of nice, healthy sulfur. And... Have we actually finished everything for... For the Holmium production chain? We've obviously got coal fragment processing, then we get Holmanite, then we crush the Holmanite, then the crushed Holmanite goes here with beads and hydrogen chloride. We've got the beads here. Um, out comes powder, powder goes in here, then we get uh, molten. I want to be in space too, my rocket just slow, okay. Dominique, let's go. Uh, I, I can just use the robots to do this. Dominique, where are we gonna put you? Probably about here. You got my name in two times? I did? Oh, true. Alright, Viking Gamer, down here. There we go. And then... Uh, we need to turn Molten into Ingots. Which... For that we need Caster. And there's only one recipe. And there's no productivity bonuses. I'm pretty sure they benefit from beacons. Crafting speed... 0 0.04 per second. 0 0.064 per second. So, we'll do another block. There's no kill, like, overkill. Actually, I might as well steal from iron or copper from this one. Or steel, actually. Steel from steel. I think I have the blueprint handy. I don't have to go looking for... Not looking for basic steel. Did I not blueprint it? God damn it. Steel is over here. Uh and yeah, this is actually like precisely. Except instead of coke, we're gonna do gonna be doing sand, right? Let's steal from steel. Get rid of all the old power poles. Don't need any of this at this point. Um, so instead of one solid, one fluid, we're doing one solid, one fluid. But hopefully, hopefully we're not going to have belt problems with the amount of sand that we need. Uh, let's get some electricity over here. Is this really the way we want to do it? 
shared input and output belt. Yeah, probably. Because it's probably going to be just that slow. Alright. Uh, this one... And this one. And that should be all of them. I missed a few. Where are we making... Oh, right. It's consuming steel ingots. Can I get one in gold? Zatius? Uh, I was just talking about this. 5,000 is the initial reward, and I'm going to add one to upgrade it to gold. Um, but we can put your name in. Uh, Zetius, rather. Sorry, how did I misread that? Good to see you again, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do we have you up here? I don't think so. All right. <laughs> Alright, fine. Zetius. We good now? Half the planet's gonna be bling by the end of this episode. Green looks nice too? Oh no. Uh, what are we doing here? Okay, so I want to check. Everything's all like minus 50% power. That seems okay. We're looking for 57.6 gold uh, sand per second. Oh, yeah. No, that makes sense. Um, actually, how many machines is this? 240. When it was steel, we needed uh, 43.2 coke per second. So two half belts, basically. That's why we did this. Let's compare it to our other build. Uh, holy crap. 7... 7.2 se, 7. thousand. Uh... Well... Gee, we'd need like 10 of these to almost keep up with this. Do you think that might be a bit extreme? 28.8 .8 holmium ingots per second. 7.2 thousand fluid per second. But honestly, I don't want to be bothered to, like, redesign. This will be all we need for a while. Or ever, probably. So what you're saying is you have a supply problem? <laughs> Uh huh. Oh my god. We're gonna have a fluid flow problem if it's asking for 7,000 a second. Better over capacity than under? This is a lot though. Like, I'd have to put pumps everywhere. Maybe that's not a problem, actually. Uh, I don't know. Seven point two thousand a second. We would need a train every eight point three three seconds to support this one block. And that's just the fluid. 
I think we'll... I, I think we'll calm down a little bit. Steel itself is very slow, so... We don't have to emulate steel. Probably. Although, I don't mind the idea of this... thing. Might need another drop station, <laughs> indeed. Oh... Uh... I, I I would like to not do the load the layout where we use a shared input and output belt. So maybe just stretch this out a little bit. So we don't have to do those weird filters. So something like um Two, four, six. Couldn't this thing be like here? In that case? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll probably go a bit harder on horizontal. Okay. That's... that's not right. Okay. Output belt... Looks good. I think... I'll probably move this up a little bit. See why I didn't. The modules look weird in this. Uh, and pick up. There we go. Alright, so up here, same thing. Maybe swap that around. And then... More of this over here, except oops, except we can fit more this way. So how much is this? It's almost three thousand a second. Uh, slightly more than half a belt of sand, and 11.5 ingots out. Seems reasonable. Just to keep uh, consistent with what we've done before, I kind of want to put ingots in here, and if they're greater than a train load, Um, then we'll turn them, turn some of them into plate. Is that going to be under the beacon? Not even close. Uh, we can't use rug modules for this. So we probably don't need the beacon. Although it is a little bit expensive. How about... What if we do something like this? Oh, I need a long arm. Do we need a long arm? I mean... 5.2 per sec? Holy crap. Never mind. Um, that's actually only about half of the holmium ingots that this can produce. 52 plate per second can come out of here. This one machine. Really? Okay. I think one will probably be enough. 
On second thought, why settle? Let's go ham. My one regret is we can't fit that onto the beacon somehow. But the two of these can do 104 plate per second. That's more than two blue belts. Uh, in fact, it's more than one purple belt. What if we give it a couple of efficiency modules? It's only plus 140% power. 88. That's slightly less than a purple belt. Cool, cool, cool. And then... Half of that. Can go to the front like so. That looks kind of weird, actually. Purple belt it is. It's got to make sure it's pointing the right way, because it always looks like it's going backward. At 60 UPS, or frames per second. Um, Alright, so... Should be the case that... We're only getting like 10 ingots per second. We don't need to worry about which side of the belt we merge things. It's going to be balanced anyway. And that just leaves IO. Hmm. I think I'll just do a standardized drop off on each side. In the middle, inserters are missing. Oh, true. Oh, how am I going to balance this? No. How about like that? And then this one can just be like that. And then like so. And then like so. Where are my pumps? So this only goes through like 3000 fluid per second. Which means we're not going to struggle as much with... How much does this consume? 510 per second. That's probably fine. I don't... I think we can get away without using pumps here. As long as we give it a bunch of different paths to get where it's going. Let's test it. And then sand. Uh, I kind of need to split sand into three, which is awkward. Very, very awkward, actually. 
It's only 6.7. Uh, the whole thing is only 23 per second. So what if... What if we did a... A snaky snake? Whoops. Normally I'm used to seeing the little icon saying the bots are going to swap the direction. Um, so it's harder to notice that that was actually working. And maybe like this. Seems okay. This looks a little weird. I don't know what I could do about it. Nothing really. Alright, so all the sand can go through here and here. That actually lines up perfectly. And then. We'll soon find out. Good morning, Teague. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What is this blueprint mode? Must be a mod. The mod is called Editor Extensions. And if you go into Mod Settings, Per Player tab, and uh, Editor Extensions, Testing Lab, you just want to set it to something other than off, and then you can use the editor mode shortcut to jump into a separate surface, even while your main game is running. Speaking of which, we should be doing some research or something. Um, how about... Do we have energy three? Yeah, we do. It's energy four that we don't have. Let's get some more bot speed, for one thing. And then we're going to be stuck. Uh, we don't have Bio 1, because we've put that off forever. Fusion Energy. Ooh, we have a use for Tritium. Hell yes. May as well knock off uh, Efficiency 7. Uh, we don't have bioscience. What's this? Follow a robot count. Huh. We can afford that easily now. Actually, that kind of adds up once you keep going. Uh, ooh, that needs four. Never mind. Uh, speed module seven. Where's prod seven? Needs bio. Alright, we'll let that run for now. Also, disable synced inventory. Yeah, it'll give you a tip for that when you mouse over it. Testing lab. Um, if you don't want to cheat, you'll want to not synchronize your inventory and cursor between the play modes. Uh, unless you accidentally transport some robots to the other surface, then you could use that to bring them back. Robot count I'm not impressed with, unless you're going all in on robots to defend you while fighting biters. Uh, the trouble with it as well is, after a certain point you're just increasing the risk of losing lots and lots of them to an AoE hit. Especially with these um, armored biters. That does seem to be working very well. I 
and draining draining the holmium molten holmium very very quickly. All right. We are looking for. You know, short trains would be acceptable here, but I don't see why I would bother. Uh, molten Holmium. And I actually will set the request quite high. Because we go through it very, very quickly. 3,000 per second, almost. Uh, and then sand is pretty slow. We just need... 23 per second. And there's nothing else we have to put in here, so I'll just do like a train load and a half. Sand. 200, 100. Plus 50%. I don't know how many extra tiers of bug there are. Um, depends on the mods. Yeah. Alright, we are requesting sand, molten holmium, putting it into casting, and out comes ingots. And it's kind of implicit uh, that out comes holmium plate as well. That's actually filling up at a pretty respectable rate. So what's our rate from this half block that we could easily double? Um, 88 holmium plate per second. Seems like a good start to me. But why don't we go ham while we're here? Like, why not, honestly? Not so ham that uh, the trains can't keep up. Or maybe it is actually. Same requests. And I think that's basically it. Make sure it works. Seems good. Uh, and we need the output to find its way over here. Somehow. What's the overall rate? Uh, like, barely more than half a blue belt. So, we can probably... Do some shenanigans with the output. Actually, no, that was good. Except... I'm going to bring it up this way. And then realize that this is in the way. And then cry. And... That doesn't even reach, holy crap. That's the wrong one, actually. This is perfect. Up go the ingots. And down they come. Fantastic. All right. 
that seems to probably work. Having a little trouble getting up to full here. It's affecting the flow. So it's going to be very hard to keep up with this block. But uh, that's fine. It's surely the last block we'll ever need for Holmium ingots. And we won't need like three blocks in different places. That's the hope anyway. Alright. Time to blueprint. Uh, first we fix these station names. Chromium Ingot Provider Chromium Plate Provider We can drop that provide stack threshold by quite a lot. Um I wonder why this has provide priority. Is there another way to make Holmium plate? No? Oh, there was a crappier way to make Holmium ingot. Sand, Holmium powder, and coal. Okay, that's fine. Um, what's this set to? How about that? Alright then. Let's blueprint. Holmium ingot. Eighty six twenty five one. And I didn't forget to remove anything. Fantastic. Looks good. And I think that's it. I think all that remains here is. Unlocking the advanced, uh, advanced chemical plants. But for that, we need Bio 2, and for Bio 2, we need, we need to finish Bio. Um, first of all, I need to move all of this crap, because I really want to put the second part of Bio 2 here. Bio 1, rather. Um, I did... Well, first of all, let me do this. Wait, no, let me not do it that way. Bring over the scaffolding train just so I can borrow some of its storage space. Never mind, it doesn't have any. Um, I believe we already... We already did biochem data. And we can put it here. But I'd like to remove all of this stuff first. Hmm. I could land a spaceship next to it. Uh... Let's just bring... I could empty the construction train and bring it over. Or the scaffolding train for that matter. Let's do that. Empty the scaffolding train and then 
bring it over here. And then wait until passenger present. And then go and empty. And we'll use that to send everything back to the mall. Here it comes. Playing SE without K2, indeed. Alright. Um, everything I don't need right now. Into the mall with you. Oh my god, what was that? I forgot the uh, scaffolding train. I, I forgot I marked a bunch of stuff for upgrades or something. Um... Well, let's finish these while we're here. There we go. Back to... no, I'll keep these actually. Uh, back to the mall with you. I think it's full. Okay. Now, I probably threw away all my construction bots, didn't I? That might actually sort of be helpful in a way. Nope, not even a little bit. Are we actually going to be full? Yeah, we are. Alright, go back and empty and then come back here. Actually, instead of going back to that spot... Come back to this spot right here. There we go. And then I'd like to remove all of this, so I don't have to remember which parts are going to be part of our next build. We emptied it. At last. Okay. In we go. And then once you have... Oh my god, I can't click on it. Once you've emptied and reloaded, come back here and wait for inactivity. And then we're just gonna... Grab our blueprint. Get that started. Let's grab our construction train. Uh, it needs some... It doesn't need this many space manufactories, that's for sure. I've never had the construction train build a single space assembly machine, so let's drop those for the moment. And what we do need is a bunch of biochem. I think it was eight. Uh, 
They should be on the way. Fantastic. Now please park yourself over here. And wait for some condition that won't come. Oh. Still waiting on a bunch of plating here that we're not even going to use. Let's just skip it. Why aren't you using the space wagons? Size change is too much of a hustle. No, uh, for some reason, when we use the roboports in vehicles, the space cargo wagons only work if the train is on in manual mode. I don't know why. It's very unfortunate, but that's how it is. What the heck is this? Uh, let's try that again. There we go. I have this issue? Are you kidding me, Lamel? You have had this issue? Or you do have this issue? Alright, uh, turn on my robots. There we go. And we need Vidamelange, obviously. What is this for? Pipe? What the heck is this doing here? Get out of here. Alright. And then I still need to decon and move all of this stuff. I forgot to drop off all of this crap. God damn it. Damn it, dag, damn it. Let's see what happens if we ask the bots to pick all this up. Nothing good, I imagine. Alright. Um, just stay there indefinitely. And just stay there indefinitely. Till the bots come back. Whoa, look at them go. Let me go grab the little speedy boy. What's he doing? Oh, I left him there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Come pick me up and we can get you back into your regular cycle. I'll open an issue on this dude's repo right now. I thought I had my things set up wrong, indeed. Alright, in we go. You know, it's probably a really small amount of Bio 2 that I need to get the advanced chemical plant, right? 500 Bio 2s, uh, prerequisites, need 100 Bio 1s, 100, uh, 10 Bio 1s, yeah, it's like nothing. Maybe I should do a little spaghetti science just to get the advanced chemical plants. Did your butts come back? Nope. Holy crap. Uh, leave that there for now. Freshly cooked spaghetti science, indeed. Uh, I really shouldn't drop off blank data cards here, should I? Should I? Uh, we already did. 
actually, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I do have a system in place to take them back into the rail network if... Oh. Well, this I didn't anticipate. Um, let's see. Do I have an encoded network ID up here? I do. Encoded network ID 1. So if I make this encoded network ID 2, the, those two stations will not interact and will stop running stuff around in circles between these two stations. Cool, cool, cool. My bots are not taking my stuff. How dare you. I kind of want to bring the explosive shielding data to where it belongs. It's really not much. And otherwise it's going to be here forever. Yeah, that's been a big waste of bot resources for a while. Oh, and they're stuck in this, uh... Okay, good. I did have a mechanism to empty this. It's only 45 items per second, though. Well, it'll get done. Eventually. <laughs> Alright, what was I doing? I want to drop off the exploding sh... Exploding? <laughs> exploding shielding data. The best kind of shielding. Where's material? There we go. And I may as well pick up what I can up here. Let's see how much more we need to move. A lot. We need to move a lot. Um, is this guy empty? It should be. No, nope, the bots are catching up with emptying that as well. Oh no. Oh no. Do we have enough storage space? I certainly hope so. That's a lot of Holmanite core fragments. Oh boy. 31k? Bloody hell. Maybe I could just delete them bad as that sounds, because with... Oh, there's not as much here as I thought. Now there is. Alright, where's our train? You are... Your bots have made it back. These bots are coming back to me. Oh no. Get rid of that condition. What are you doing? What? 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 No. Bad. About this guy. Empty now. Fantastic. Come over here and get ready to pick up some crap. Why are they green now? My bots are still floating back. They were blue a minute ago on the map. I would have thought the color indicated whether they belonged to me or a Roboport network. Um, or spiders or something. But I'm pretty sure they were blue, like a minute ago.
What did I just pick up? It's actually going to be full in a second. I, I'm very confused. I could have sworn I tried to pick up everything in here a second ago. it. Why isn't it leaving? I guess this one of these stacks is not entirely full or something? Like this heavy gutter here? And why does shift C not put stuff into the... Hold on. Is shift C tossing it back up here? Is that what's going on? No? So confused. Alright, there it goes. Moo? Repetitive beats? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do we already have repetitive beats here? I don't think so. All right. What the? What? What just happened? <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's bring our empty everything train back here. Wait till full. Woohoo. Neighbor died a few days ago. He was 95. Wow. Uh, I think my brain broke because from Veldak I was expecting a joke or something. Rip neighbor. The blue was from train? Um, I don't know. Alright, where's our train? Here it is. Fantastic. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. Give me all of this, please. And that's still a lot of stuff. And that is still a lot of stuff. There we go, we finally got there. Okay. We're now free to use this block for whatever we may. And it's not in the wrong place. Bloody plastic. Yeah, Shift C doesn't seem to put stuff into trains. Alright. Away we go. Is this train okay? It is not because I didn't put this wire here. Uh, and now we've got way too much chemical gel. Where do we drop off chemical gel? Chemical... gel. That's a pickup. That's a drop off. There's over 100k room at this drop off. It is... Corrosion Resistance Datur. Please go over here, and then empty cargo. Is 
and then when it goes back to the depot, because it's LTN schedule, it should automatically reset itself. So I could just ignore it from this point. But I'd like to confirm. Just demonstrate it for all the lovely viewers. Why did it do a zigzaggy thing through the through the roundabout that I went out of my way to put straight rail through? What the hell? Well, that worked anyway. Wait, was that another train in that spot? Oh, it was. There were two trains scheduled to come here. Oh, no. Alright, let's do that again. Does the... How much room is here? 74,000? We could drop it all there. How about this one? Mirrors. Sure. We're going to be needing those anyway. And that's it. Fantastic. Okay. Get that out of my face. It only works when the train opens its doors to load slash unload. I never did like that. How's that? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What's this train doing? Stuff that makes sense. Good. Fantastic. How are our... Uh, girders and stuff. Well, not girders. Um, scaffold and... I'm just going to do it like this. Scaffold and plating. Wow. Uh, maybe I should have put a limiter on that. In fact, I definitely meant to put a limiter on that. Whoops. Well, that's one place some of our resources have been going. Although it's only LDS heat shield, steel plate. Nothing exotic. Uh, but yeah, we've almost got a trainload of space platform plating here. Very cool, very neat. Um, now, I've done the first three data cards for bioscience. And then we need genetic data. But that was a whole rabbit hole. Because... Because genetic data requires bioculture. Wait, what? Oh, this is a recipe that consumes genetic data. No, no, no. Uh, genetic data... is actually pretty straightforward. Yeah, we don't have to put this inside some giant thing where we try and use belts to mitigate the tiny stack sizes of like three to five items in bioscience. Lithium chloride blank data card bio sludge. Um, I'm pretty sure we have bio sludge lying around. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of bio sludge waiting to be used already. Uh, I was making room, or at least thinking about bringing lithium up. And what was the other thing? Blank data card lithium biosludge. So we basically just need to bring lithium chloride up. And then it's going to be a rather straightforward build. To get this far at least. That's the hope anyway. Why does it not center on where I bring the cursor to there? Okay. So I want to grab the biochem data build.
And then I want to put... Uh, genetic data over here. In fact, I think it's going to be easy enough that I don't have to add all of the scaffolding first. Oh, I just realized. So we need a genetics facility, right? To make our genetic data. To make a genetics facility, we need... It doesn't show it here. It is called genetics facility, yeah. What the hell? To make genetics facility, we need nutrient fat. To make nutrient fat, we need nutrient gel, iron, plate, glass. But more importantly, uh, apart from making genetic facilities, this goes into so few things. And their stack size is so small that I wanted to do this huge... Uh, build for them somewhere. And that is a whole giant leap before we get anything done. Nutrient gel is going to go in the rail network, right? I think there was like two reasons to do it. So we get away from all that binder stuff. I was gonna make the, make it on the spot for this stuff, uh, but maybe. Oh yeah, no gel. We're already importing nutrient gel for this. <clears throat> Oops, excuse me. Nutrient gel. Uh, now we have to make fertilizer? God damn it, bioscience. <sighs> There's two recipes for it. We either use coal, five fertilizer... It's coal or methane, basically. One coal, four chemical gel, 20 biosludge, 25 cosmic... Uh, less biosludge, less cosmic water, slightly more chemical gel, and methane. But I'm pretty sure the only place to get methane, like, anywhere, is, like, asteroid belt. Places I don't want to go to do mining operations. So I think we're basically just stuck with the one recipe for nutrient gel, which is not that, it's, it's really not a bad recipe or anything. We use a little more bio sludge, but in my experience, we end up with bio sludge coming out of our ears. Uh, chemical, it actually uses less chemical gel. Coal is extremely common. Um, and then there's fertilizer. How do we make fertilizer? Easily enough. Oh look, another thing where we want to make an advanced chemical plant. Uh, I'm really leaning towards doing some spaghetti to get this really small amount of bio too. Um, I think I will. We're going to do bioscience spaghetti right here. Because I need such a small amount of it. But it's got so many little steps. And I just... I including things where we need advanced chemical plants to make a nice build that we don't have to replace later. Or just leave sitting there forever.
Now that I've already got these, I could, like, manually dump some stuff in there to get the bare minimum. So I have to make a bunch of biomass. I could just deliver biomass to the rail network. We need Vidamelange regardless, no matter how I go about things. How is the scorching of Moss Garden going? Uh, not as well as I hoped, but not the worst. There's still a significant amount of biters left on the planet. And I'm going to have to go there to personally clean up the biters themselves, not the spawners and stuff. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Before we're able to confirm hostile extinction. Still haven't removed the tree mod, indeed. Could always speed it up. I was just thinking that. We should have by now lots of stuff over here in our construction ship. Let's have a let's make a trip to Calidus orbit. And I'd like to double the energy beam, if I can. I don't know why I'm procrastinating going to Moss Garden for so long. Like, it's going to be just one more of the outposts that I've been making, except there's no... There's no old temporary crap to clean up. We're going to have a very small number of biters to clear out. Although finding them all uh, is going to be fun. It's a fairly small planet. Moon, whatever. Two minutes twenty remain. All right. With the amounts that we're going to need, maybe I could even just go grab some stuff, like, kind of semi-manually. Well, there's no need. I think I've already configured Moss Garden, haven't I? I did all the circuitry and stuff. I need to do a drop-off for Vidamelange. That's going to be a slight nuisance, but honestly not that difficult. It's another copy-paste edit job, and be very careful not to forget to whitelist Vidamelange in this robot network, otherwise we'll end up with uh, 30,000 Vidamelange core fragments back in the mall. We don't want that, actually. But yeah, there's not really that much I need to do to grab some vit. Of course, even with spaghetti, there's a few steps to follow before we get spice. Actually, I wonder what that looks like uh, in K2 and or 0.6. I imagine it's a bit more complicated than it was last time. Let's see. We've got a few seconds. Vitamelange. Vitamelange. Goes into... What? So it goes into a pulverizer, and out comes Nugget and some other crap. Uh, nugget goes into chemical plant to make bloom. Or you could use it to make bio sludge with vitalic acid. Um, 
So presumably we need to look at Bloom. Vulcanite block plus Bloom makes both Spice and Extract and Methane. That's weird. Um, I forgot to check if we already have Advanced Furnace. Can also be used to make coal, wood, and crude oil. With region, petroleum, that doesn't sound like a good recipe. Uh, okay, so I guess it's this. Does that mean there isn't like a deliberate recipe to make spice and extract? It looks like there's something like a coverex process here. 30 spice, 1 extract makes 20 spice, 4 to 8 extract, and a little bit of light oil. Hmm. And then... That's the only... Yeah, these are the only two ways to make extract. Well, that's, a, that's definitely a lot more interesting than, like... What was it? Two or three steps of one-to-one -one recipes. Alright, let me grab some stuff, and I have some big plans for this. Then you gotta play a balancing game between the two different things, indeed. Alright, I'm gonna do a little upgrade planner here. We're gonna convert... Space platform plating? Can we even do that? You're joking. There's no way to use upgrade planners for this? Oh no. Alright. I'm just gonna... Quietly swap. I'm surprised it didn't leave any on the ground. It's probably about to. Maybe I could use navsat. That'd be easier. Scaffolding. How big can I make this? I could do a... Okay, how, how many tiles is this? 17 times 4? What's 17 times 4? 68. That's 78. But I want space platform plating. Holy crap. Uh, at the top and bottom. Okay. So if I just copy paste drag this across. I think it only works where we've already placed the space platform plating. But it does work. We can cheap out and hide our scaffolding behind the panels. uranium. There we go. Okay. So then, now set. And 
then remove tiles, tile ghosts. Okay. And my bot's out of scaffolding. Alright, fair enough. Let's go grab some more. If I do one more RoboPort, I could walk down the middle. Do I not have the there they are? There they are. Fantastic. Blow, they do actually have to recharge even if I'm not out of energy. So, there we go. Nope. Are we good? Uh, I don't have any scaffolding right now. Give it. Give me the scaff. Place that blueprint over here now. Even if they are swapping the floor still. This is taking longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Bots really are the worst for this. up with too much plating here anyway. Why are they still trying to place that plating? I literally... Bots are supposed to make your life easier. Should have just done it this way the whole time. Oh my god. Look at how much faster that is. Getting distracted from the reason we're here though. Let's get some solar panels. It was supposed to be a a momentary distraction, just a little just a little something, just a little totally optional stupid thing. But no. That 
was like nothing. Need to make more room for these things. shove this plating. You know what? Give me more solar panels. How much power do we have spare? Uh, about 4 gigawatts. Expand on the left. Let me guess, I got rid of all my scaffolding now. Move that text. Holy crap. Alright. Um, grab this. Paste here. Fantastic. Honestly, I should just use the plating that I've got here now. How much power do we have? Oh, wow. We've almost doubled it. Okay. Don't tell me. I didn't bring beaming stuff. I remember putting it away. No! This is a tragedy. You know what? It, since I've got the plating here, let's just use the plating. By the time I got around to trying to swap out to this cheaper stuff, it's, like, not easier to use the cheaper stuff. It's probably a, the most hideous random mess of one type of floor or the other behind these things. Gonna need a, another trip for the to double the energy beams anyway. Let's just get this much done. Oops. Wait, why is that there? Why do we keep copy pasting a lighted pylon substation that's like like six tiles to the left or right of one of these. I don't 
understand. Very strange. And we've officially doubled our solar here. How much more ammo do we have? 250, 261, was it? That is more than enough. Let's place some more. I almost said landfill. see you there. Back to... I was going to say the mall, which is true, but back to Hagen Orbit. Why can't we launch? Because I took away a piece of wall, that's why. Oh, we could make the construction ship chunkier. It would go a little slower if I had more container stress, but... It's construction ship. It gets there a little bit later, but with that much more storage space, that'd be fine. However, it's kind of full as it is. I'd have to change the shape of it. How's the planet clearance getting on? Probably at like 90% by now. Yeah. It's getting a bit slower though, I think. In in terms of like area covered. Where's our beam? Where is our beam? I don't see it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, as you can see, it's fairly quick. Not that quick on the scale of clearing the whole planet. I'm excited to point this thing at Nalvis in the not-too-distant future. But I want to really increase the energy that we pour into it before that. I'll probably do that off-stream. Do a few laps back and forth, making more solar panels. All right. So we have a lot of stuff ahead of us um, to get a little bit of bioscience going so we can get our advanced chemical plants so that we can do bioscience builds properly. Uh, and I need to get some of it. Probably a pretty small amount, relatively just to get that first, like, hundred bioscines. Off stream, or make some automation ship on stream? Wait, what? No, I mean, I'm... I'll do things that are repetitive off stream. Not anything new. All right, instead of running back and forth, make some automation ship on stream. I mean, we've got the construction ship, I could use that, but I, I don't want to have it like take off and put down, or I don't want to put a bunch of temporary robocorts over and over, and the bots are terrible at placing floors. It's just not that efficient. All right. Who's streaming Factorio today? Hmm. 
Wake up. All Holland? K2 playthrough, that's without SE. Uh, we raided Dane yesterday, I think it was. Maybe Mucky. What about just delivery ship? Then all is waiting for you? Maybe. Okay. I think today we'll drop in on All Holland. It's been a minute. Is this working? Okay, they yes, have power. yes it is. Okay. Thanks for stream, thanks for hanging out. And everything else. Alright, who, uh, what am I pasting? There we go. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. I was looking for some kind of motion here, but it's all saturated. Hmm. Take care, Veldak. And everyone else as well. Savior of the stars. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you so much. Alright, away we go. Welcome to the gang. Uh, welcome kiss is mandatory here. It's uh, it's uh, it's something we do. Whoa, Tyrannosaurus hacks.